67 different winners. Meanwhile, the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series as they embark on their 20th year here at East Bay. They've had 110 events, 36 different winners. And DJ, there's no more chances in history at the Winter Nationals. When Saturday night's checkered flag falls, that's it. If you haven't gone down in the history books, you want to be there. There's some really good guys, including the guy that's our points leader, but yet to do that. You're exactly right, Ben. As uh, the folks at home get, they 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 uh, they finally right now get to realize you and I are two different people. As they've got the <laughs> double box pulled up, we're both on camera. But but to that point, you know, we hear a lot about race purses and starting money and everything else, and folks complaining. Five thousand dollars to win. That's what it's been at East Bay for about as long as I can remember since uh, since the '90s. Actually, some of these prelims paid six thousand to win. Gary Stoller, who's in the house by the way i saw he won one of those but do you think that's the reason why number one there are 75 cars here and number two a lot of these guys that might normally sit out the first few nights are unloaded because they want to add one final east bay trophy to their collector or maybe get one if they haven't already no i think it's all of the above everything that you just said and and i think the other thing is when you come here and you look at the back stretch and you got east bay raceway park on the wall and it's red and white there's so much history at this place and you know, guys have some guys have a love hate relationship with this place. You know, either they really love it or they really don't. But everybody wants to win here. And some of the biggest events in our sport, really, what it pays is trivial. It's all about saying that you won there. And then we know that this is the last Winter Nationals. We'll come back in October. That's the final super late model events ever. And so, yeah, the time is now. It's time to go to Victory Lane. It's time to be a part of history. And right now, it's time for us to step aside. We're going to thank some marketing partners as we inch closer to Dirt Draft Hot Laps. We are moments away from cars on track here at East Bay Raceway Park. This is the 48th annual v Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil, and you're watching it all live, Map TV on Flow Racing. VLAND is proud to be an official partner of the 2023 Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Check us out at www.vland.com for more info. See you at the races. Prominent force in the racing industry, driven by the legacy of Dale Earnhardt. Our dedication to providing premium parts and products is evident through our exceptional customer service and innovative offerings that are widely recognized throughout motorsports. Our team of experts is committed to manufacturing the highest quality parts. You can trust that with our unwavering commitment to quality, Earnhardt Technologies Group remains the market leader. We're the leader in race fuels. We use our distillation tower, which is unique. No other race fuel companies do that in the world. That consistency in the marketplace that makes us a premium brand. We're pretty darn close to perfect. The Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by General Tire. For whatever you do, General Tire delivers. By Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower. And by Lucas Oil, keep that engine alive. Well, there is a good look at the Gulf of Mexico just behind the front straightaway here at East Bay Raceway Park. Again, uh, Gibsonton, Florida, just south of Tampa, Florida. It is the 48th annual VLAN Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. And during that commercial break, we just got word from Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series officials that this evening starting time uh, for hot laps has been pushed back 30 minutes to 6 p.m. So for those of you here on the grounds and those of you watching live at home as part of this MAV TV on Flow Racing broadcast, again, that just came through during our last commercial break that uh, hot lap, dirt draft hot laps have been pushed back to 6 p.m. With that in mind, we'll use this opportunity need to step aside again. Thanks some of the folks that make the broadcast a possibility. We'll come back a little bit later on with an update. Again, this is the 48th annual running of the VLAN Winter Nationals. This is MAV TV on Flow Racing. Protect the Harvest was created to defend and preserve American freedoms and to support farmers, ranchers, outdoor enthusiasts, and animal owners. Protecting agriculture, protecting our rights, our traditions, our rural way of life, protecting America. To get involved, please visit our Facebook page or protecttheharvest.com. Support us by donating today. Protect the Harvest is a nonprofit 501c3 corporation registered in Missouri. 
Dave Posky's Performance Parts has been serving the Ohio River Valley and racers from all across the country since 1978, and they are the home to Hoosier Tire Ohio Valley and Octane Race products. Stop in and shop all of the nation's top brands, including Winner's Performance, Will Wood Brakes, Bill Stein Shocks, Hyperco Springs, Maxima Race Oils, Impact Safety Equipment, along with hundreds of others. You can also visit Dave Posky's Performance Parts online at posky.com as we ship UPS and truck freight daily. Dave Posky's Performance Parts, serving the Ohio River Valley and racers all across the country since 1978. Race fans, Dirt Draft is your number one fantasy racing app. Play along with hundreds of events each year featuring the biggest stars in series and racing. Draft your team each race night and compete against hundreds of fans across the country. Or start your private league to battle your friends for the ultimate bragging rights. Accumulate points each race night and cash those points in for top prizes from the biggest brands. Sign up today and learn more at DirtDraft.com or download a Google Play or the App Store. Dirt Draft, your fantasy racing edge. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 48th annual running of the Veland Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. Again, we welcome those of you both here on the TV on Flow Racing broadcast, as we just mentioned before that uh, set of commercial breaks. Uh, we just got word about two minutes ago that Dirt Draft hot laps have been pushed back to 6 p.m. this evening. It's like been a, just an absolutely gorgeous day. And the Tampa area today got up to about 70 degrees or so. Currently 66, a bit windy outside, 16 mile an hour winds, and there is not a cloud in the sky. As again, it has just been one of those picture perfect uh, days that you absolutely dream about here on the uh, Gulf Coast of Florida. And uh, I tell you what, it looks like the weather is going to be just fantastic the rest of the week as well. Knock on wood, uh, no chance of rain. Temperatures actually steadily going up throughout the week. Looks like we're going to hit 80 degrees by the time the weekend rolls around as well. Is it's just uh, just one of those Florida days that you always dream about. Well, we mentioned the first three nights of racing action here at East Bay uh, are not counted towards the, uh, the final points tally where drivers uh, where we take the drivers' uh, best six finishes. Heading into the final Winter Nationals here at East Bay Raceway Park, though, let's take a look at the Big River Steel Chase for the championship presented by ARP. And there you see it, Ricky Thornton Jr. Ben mentioned it uh, on that last segment, has never won a Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series feature here at East Bay, trying to etch his name in the record books. And it's fine, the final opportunity here this week. RTJ with a 50-point cushion over Hudson O'Neill. Devin Moran currently sits third in the series point standings. Jonathan Davenport fourth. Again, those were the four drivers that were in that uh, Big River Steel chase for the championship last year at uh, the Dirt Track World Championship at Eldora Speedway. Brandon Shepard still maybe weighing his options on which series he's going to run in 2024. Currently fifth, Kyle Bronson. Right now, one of those drivers that could be swayed either way as well. Tyler Erb, a five-time East Bay winner, currently seventh. Uh, Dalton Wilson, eighth. Mike Marler running Lucas Oil full-time in 2024 is ninth. Tied with the three S of Brian Shirley. Again, that is your current look at the Big River Steel Chase for the Championship presented by ARP. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series as well as, again, we've still got, uh, well, we've got four, we'll call it four and a half nights of racing here at East Bay Raceway Park, followed by Golden Isles, Atomic Brownstown. You can see the rest of the upcoming schedule on there. But real quick, so last night's event at East Bay Raceway Park was rained out and, and postponed. That event is going to be made up in portions over the course of the next three nights. So after today's or tonight's program is finished, the Monday qualifications will happen. They'll have all-star performance time trials for the drivers immediately after tonight's program. And that'll be it. After tomorrow night's program, after the Wednesday show, they will run the Monday heats and B mains. And then 
after the Thursday regularly scheduled show, they will run the feature for the Monday night portion of the program. A lot of folks asking at home maybe, well, why did they do it that way? Well, a couple different reasons. Number one, it saves you from having to run the dreaded double, uh, which we've seen here at, at, at not just East Bay, but at any racetrack you go to. Uh, running in the daytime, man, you're playing Russian roulette. Uh, you, you could have a decent show. Uh, the odds are typically stacked against you, though. And then not only that, uh, you really uh, put yourself behind the eight ball for the track prep for the evening portion of the program as well. The other reason was as well that with only one class running here and at the pace they, they typically try to run these programs, it just made sense that way. It made sense to try to break it up and try to uh, try to do just a little bit here and there. Uh, the, the grandstands, you're not going to have to clear the grandstands out or anything like that. It makes it a lot easier for the folks that are working here and the fans that are already in the grandstands. The grandstands will simply remain open for everybody to watch uh, that particular portion of the uh, of the Monday night program. And Ben, I know that you and I were on the call with, uh, with Rick Schwally yesterday uh, whenever he first had that idea. It's something a little different different. It's something that when you first hear it, you might think, oh man, I'm not really sure about this. But the more you think about it and the more you look at it, it's really kind of a win-win for everyone, most importantly, the drivers. Yeah, and as you come along the way in the week, it's kind of like free football in the grandstands. If, if you just come in one night and you pop in, you might have qualifying, you might have heats and B-Main, or you might have a feature that pays 5000 to win. Uh, no matter what, we know this. We want drivers to have six chances to become an East Bay Raceway Park winner this week during the VLAN Winter Nationals. That just guarantees it's a reality. And, DJ, it's supposed to be a little windy and cool tonight, a little bit warmer tomorrow. And then after that, man, it is Chamber of Commerce the rest of the week here at East Bay Raceway Park. And you just couldn't ask for a better weather week now that we got yesterday out of the way yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, getting geared up, starting to put heat and engines in the pit area. Hot laps move back just a little bit to 6 Eastern. So we'll step aside, thanks some more of our great sponsors. We'll be right back here to East Bay Raceway Park, the 48th Annual Veal and Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. You're watching it all live here on Map TV on Flow Racing.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 48th running of the VLAN Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil, the Clay by the Bay, East Bay Raceway Park, just south of Tampa, Florida, where Dirt Draft hot laps have been pushed back to 6 p.m. And we have got 75 Lucas Oil late model dirt series cars entered for this evening's program also got word 67 are entered for the uh, the originally scheduled monday portion of the program which again uh, they will qualify for the monday portion after tonight's show they will run uh, uh, heat races and b mains for the monday show after tomorrow night's program and then the monday feature will be after the thursday feature we talked about the upcoming events for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Uh, take a look at some of the upcoming events we have here on Flow Racing, and there are some biggie Short Track Super Series. Saw Brett Deo the other night. They're going to be in action at uh, All Tech Raceway starting, actually, I think they're practicing tonight, starting tomorrow. The Pro Superstar Shootout uh, coming up at uh, Bradenton. I know uh, Ben talked to uh, our good friend Tony Stewart earlier. He will be there just to, I mean, it, it, that is exactly what it says it is. If, uh, if you uh, you are a fan of drag racers, a fan of racing in general, that Pro Superstar Shootout at Bradenton, that's going to be going on all day long, February 8th to the 10th. That is a big one. USAC, I love Kevin Miller and Kirk Spridge and the gang there at USAC. They got uh, their dirt winner, winter dirt games coming up. Starting here in just a few days. Of course, the High Limit Series kicks off right here at East Bay next week, James, Monday and Tuesday. And then we've got uh, the one that everybody's talking about, the Lucas Oil High Limit doubleheader at Golden Isles. It'll be High Limit on uh, Thursday, February 22nd. The Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series on Friday, February 23rd. And then for the first time ever, both will be in action cap it off on Saturday, February 24th. A lot of different race cars there on the screen. And uh, speaking of a lot of different race cars, I know a guy that likes to drive a lot of different race cars. He is the current Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series points leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. RTJ, well, no, again, no secret. He likes to drive just about anything. He loves getting behind the wheel of a micro when he can. He uh, ran the Tulsa shootout. He's run the Tulsa shootout the last couple years and uh, runs uh, runs in Indiana whenever, uh, whenever his Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series schedule allows. So when racing rained out last night, James, what did, uh, what did RTJ do? Well, he went about an hour and a half up the road to uh, Ocala. Actually, the same road. I've been to. He went to Marion County Speedway, a little fifth mile there, uh, just outside Ocala. It's, I've, I've been there before. Same stretch of road that uh, that Ocala Speedway is on. And RTJ ran a micro last night. We've got some highlights, courtesy of our friends at Dirt Two Media. Ricky Thornton Jr. Hello, sir. How you doing? Welcome to Marion County. Trying to run down that second place runner, Colton Robinson, holding on to it for the time being. Thornton shows him a nose there through turns one and two. Not going to make it happen and dive down to the bottom side of the racetrack through three and four. Still not going to work. Cruz Nickerson right there in the fourth spot. The 33X trying to make something happen. And now they've got company. We've got a three, four way battle for the second spot down the back straightaway. Ricky Thornton trying to line him back up there. The Driven Performance Midwest 14T all up on the 34 of Colton Robinson. The Robinson keeping that eye on its 34 hyper racing. Well, Ben Shelton, it, uh, it, he is a guy that, again, he will drive absolutely anything, as we just saw the highlights there. Again, first and foremost, a big shout-out to uh, to our good friends at Dirt 2 Media. They were there last night. Uh, they had that event live. They will actually have the micros uh, live uh, just about every event that uh, that they are in uh, down here in Florida. But uh, the end result for RT was not exactly what he wanted, a problem with the motor. But, uh, man, oh, man, it's just, uh, you know, we talk about it all the time, man. You and I, do we love these guys that will get – behind the wheel and drive anything well and it's kind of running joke with ricky thornton jr when you're a race and it gets rained out or postponed or canceled where is he going to end up at and yeah he found somewhere last night and uh man i tell you a true will man i i was uh, you mentioned me talking to tony stewart we were both on the bubba the love sponge show today and 
Bubba was asking me, what is it about guys like Bobby Pierce and Tony Stewart? And I was like, they're just will men, and they're good in everything they get in. I made the comment, probably the only people happier than Ricky and his family when he learned a full, landed a full-time super late model ride were probably all the modified and stock car competitors in the IMCA division because he'd been wreaking havoc on them for years. He's a driver, but he's tamed a lot of places. We talked about it earlier. East Bay's not one of them yet. Yeah, we'll see. We will see, and he will see if he can change that. Here he's got six attempts this week in the final Veland Winter Nationals. Again, uh, Dirt Draft Tot Laps pushed back to 6 p.m. So we use this opportunity once again to thank the folks that make these uh, broadcasts a possibility. More commercials now mean less breaks in the action later on. Don't go anywhere. You're watching all of this live. This is MAV TV on Flow Racing. ARP manufactures the ultimate fasteners from the best raw materials using Cold Forge technology. Family owned and made in the USA. Quality always comes first. For whatever extreme category you're in, it's always ARP-Bolts.com. New 2023 F-150s add up to 13 grand off? You bet. During Brandon Ford's ultimate 2023 model year closeout, hundreds of F-150s add up to 13,000 off. Get special APRs like 1.9% for 72 months. Super sale volume pricing is back, baby. 90 full-size Broncos reduced to as little as 45,999. New 2023 edges with 0% for 60 months. We're doing whatever it takes during the ultimate 2023 model year closeout at Brandon Ford and BrandonFord.com. Here at Tuners, Inc., we see cars come in with 80 horsepower all the way up to 1,500 horsepower. The goal of almost every customer in here is to pick up performance in their vehicle. They want to gain horsepower. They want to gain torque. What we have found with E3 Spark Plug is the quality of the plug and the way it's built. E3s are a performance plug that's going to last longer. E3 Diamond Fire technology maximizes the fuel burn for more power and better fuel efficiency. E3 Spark Plugs. What are you running? ARP, the ultimate fasteners for racing in the dirt. With high horsepower demands, ARP delivers maximum clamping force and performance. When failure on the dirt is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com. Passionate about a life in racing? Circle track, drag racing, drifting, or monster jam? Find it all at the University of Northwestern Ohio. How do I become a mechanic? How do I become a driver? How do I drive monster trucks? And here at UNOH, there's pathways for everything. The fact there's a school you can go to for racing is just a little bit insane, but it's very cool because it gives kids like me the opportunity to chase that dream. See where your future can take you with a high-performance motorsports degree from the University of Northwestern Ohio. The Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs. What are you running? By Protect the Harvest, keeping American traditions alive for future generations. And by Lucas Oil, keep that engine alive. Again, a great shot. The sun's starting to set there over the Gulf of Mexico. Glad that you're with us here for the 48th annual running of the Veland Winter Nationals. Dustin Jarrett, James Essex, and Ben Shelton here with you. As again, Dirt Draft Hot Laps coming up here in just about 12 minutes or so. Now, James, we talked, James getting his note cards in line. He has made his way to the booth and he is getting the, uh, the note cards in line. There is no, uh, there's no timetable on how long that takes. There is no, There are no guarantees he'll be able to read his own handwriting once he uh, gets them in order either. We talked earlier about the Big River Steel Chase for the Championship presented by ARP. We took a look at those point standings. We mentioned how last year, of course, it was uh, four drivers locked in and a, a one-race shootout. That format has changed, though, this year as, uh, again, Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series uh, officials talk to the drivers, talk to the car owners, and they talk to folks from... Uh, uh, ARP and of course the title sponsor Big River Steel and it's now going to be a seven race schedule we'll throw that up on the screen for you so that you can see exactly what that looks like it will begin with the uh, they will lock in the top four drivers James after the uh, Knoxville Lucas Oil Late Model Nationals and those four driver drivers will run this stretch of races beginning with the Friday night the lead into the Jackson 100 this year the CJ Raber Memorial mm -mm -mm, love that man the CJ Raber Memorial uh, rightfully home at the track that it should be at. So the two events at Brownstown, you got the quarter mile fairgrounds oval there. 
Then the Tuesday night doubleheader at Atomic. Can't wait for that one. That'll be the second Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series High Limit Sprint Car Series doubleheader. There's something sexy about those midweek shows. That's coming up on Tuesday, October 1st. And then the Pittsburgher. It expands to two nights this year. A complete show on Friday. And then, of course, the, uh, the traditional Pittsburgher on Saturday the big half mile we come right back here to the grand finale the final events ever held here at east bay raceway park two nights of prelims the fifty thousand dollar to win grand finale october 10th 11th and 12th and then we make the journey back to the buckeye state on october 18th and 19th to eldora speedway for the dirt track world championship where we will once again crown the 2024 big river steel uh, champion presented by ARP for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Love the new format. Uh, love the uh, the adjustments that were made. And uh, hey, James, just like everything else, it's not it, nothing's ever perfect the first time, you know. And uh, again, based on the feedback uh, with uh, the series officials. Uh, speaking of series officials, look at Rick Schwally right there on the left side of your screen. The series officials uh, talking with the drivers and the car owners. They felt this format, and you heard from Ricky Thornton Jr. the other day as well. They felt this format was uh, was the way to go, and certainly a little bit better than uh, what they had. Pre Previously, Ernie Leftwich there from the Lucas Oil MLRA Series. By the way, we will have every Lucas Oil MLRA Series event live right here on Flow Racing in 2023. And the crowd starting to file in as I believe that uh, we are about to see. A lot of see... people here, brother. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Is welcome. That, welcome. That, welcome. The, I thought that was I've... the voice of God. Well, Argabright's not here tonight, but uh, <laughs> we you... miss him. We miss him. So I've got right now not running tonight. Marler is not running. He oh, don't okay. have to run. Yeah, no, that's what we said. I, I, Marler I not running. Earlier. Bernie is here. He's not running. Cody Overton is here. Brandon Overton will be in later the week. And so you're going to be pushing 80 some here come the end of the week. So again, uh, they don't have to run, but they're going to try to get out there. Davenport said he was just going to not run the first three, but he is going to get things straightened out there. But 75 cars, very, very impressive, man. For And there are, I thought Tyler County, everybody from Tyler County was here. Ryan Rain is here. Uh, Brandon yeah. Waggle. Brandon Waggle in the Scott West Racing 47W. Yeah, I mean it's uh, uh, we're just missing uh, we're just missing Freddie Carpenter. Steve Waggles here. He's he, not racing. He's not racing. He's here. He's Logan here. Hitt is here. Yes, Logan Hitt is. Shane Hitt is here. Right? Shane, Shane Hitt's not Hitt racing. Is here. He's not racing, but Logan Hitt is here. How about all the Hall of Fame? We got, well, you said uh, Dale McDowell's here. Yeah, Dale, McDow uh, Dale McDowell turning wrenches uh, for uh, Dale and Shane turning wrenches for uh, Mike Bennett Mike here this week. Rick yeah. Eckert still helping out Ross Robinson. I saw Dan Schlieper. Yeah, by the way, Dale Mulligan. McDowell has not been here. This is the first time he has even been. Again, he's not racing, but it's the first time he has been to East Bay since 2000. 2011, back when he was driving for Clint Smith. Terry Eaglin is here. We talked about him. James Essex is here, the Hall of I, Famer. Yeah, Don O'Neill, Marty O'Neill, both oh are my. here. Marty DJ, did, did you say that was the year he was driving for Clint Smith? I I did, and I caught it right after I said it. <laughs> I caught it right after I said it. I'm getting blown up on social media right now as well. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, did you say was driving for Clint Smith? Who? I, no, 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 see, now no, you got James. No, no, I'm not now walking you, it back. Hey, there's okay. no walking that it was, back. It now. was Dale yeah. McDowell. I, uh, no, yeah. Who was the former crew chief for Clint Smith that drove? One of his cars. Oh, the 33. He won the uh, like the Georgia State Lottery. Oh man, what was his name? Oh yeah, say. yeah, yeah. Because that was his number. He won like 33 million. <laughs> oh, it escapes me. Okay. Sorry, so, Clint, somebody will mess. Uh, sorry, okay. Clint Boyer. By the way, I'm very sorry, Clint Boyer. <laughs> He's uh, Junior Coover. He is. Junior uh, Coover's he, over the pits. He's here. He's not racing. Yeah, a lot of there. Al uh, Humphrey. Uh, Gary Stooler. Gary Stooler's in the pit area. He, he is Gary to him earlier. Donnie Moran. Donnie Moran is here. I talked to him as well. Is there Jesse and Austin Lay? Yeah, toss all them. There's a look at the uh, Jeff Matthews racing entries. Jeff Matthews, 33 on the left. Ashton Winger, the winner here one year ago on the right. All right, James, we're going to step aside for maybe one final set of commercial breaks. Again, uh, we got thrown a curveball about uh, two minutes after we went live, being told uh, during our first commercial break that uh, Dirt Draft Hot Laps getting pushed back to 6 p.m. So we'll step aside again and thank the folks that make this broadcast a possibility as a somewhat impromptu extended 45-minute pre-race show. Good luck at Garrett Smith and Matt Cosner right there. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back. This is the 48th running of the Veland Winter Nationals, and you're watching it live. It's MAV TV on Flow Racing.
the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series is brought to you by General Tire. For whatever you do, General Tire delivers. By Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower. And by Lucas Oil, keep that engine alive. Welcome back to the final Tuesday Veland Winter Nationals. Ugh. Sad to say, James, East Bay Raceway Park. That is, is it, sad. Man. Yep. I know it's going to be uh, it's going to be action packed this week. Going to have great crowds. Off to a good start here tonight. 75 again. Afterwards tonight we will qualify for last night's rain out makeup, and that'll be coming up on Thursday night, DJ. Yes, it will. Well, a few drivers have started to make their way to the track. They're going to roll it in here for just a minute or two for dirt draft hot laps. I really, I, I really wanted to make sure that we got this graphic up on the board, James, because uh, if you take a look at, look, KCHAV 96, man, he's got this in as the cars uh, start going, uh, start going a quasi hot lap session here. On the right, the Flow Racing leaderboard. I, look at the look at the gap I, I have between uh, Ben Shelton, who's MSR Mafia, uh, Robbie Johnston, who is uh, Robbie 96, and uh, Racer Chicks, who's producer Tiffany. I have uh, I have really distanced myself from the field. Is uh, Green Flag is out well, on this well, first ben, session? Well, Ben said it was a non-points night, so he's well. All right, Jane Frame out there out of Decker, Tennessee. DJ Sean Maddox out of Cortland, Illinois. Boom Briggs out of uh, Bear Lake, Pennsylvania. Max Blair out of Centerville, PA. Hayden Cowan out of Rinkin, South uh, Georgia. Astrid Winger out of Sonora, Georgia. Tim Dome out of Cross Lanes, West Virginia. Tim Dennis Dome. Dennis Jr. out of Carpentersville, West Virginia. Larry Groob out of Malden, South Carolina right now. Tim Dome has, uh, Tim Dome won here in 2007. Oh, baby. Ashton Winger, 15 2 3 1 in the Jeff Matthews, Jeff Matthews Band. Let's just do it. They're the here Jeff tonight. Jeff Matthews Band, the whole band. From Brandon, here. Florida, 15 2 3 1, right there in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Again, eight groups of hot laps tonight, 75 cars in it. We'll have six seat races, three B mains, and. No provisionals until Thursday, Dustin Jarrett. Yeah, and that's Our, a, th yes. thank you for saying that because I, I mentioned uh, at the top of the show that uh, the balance of the field, just out of out of habit, I'd mentioned the balance of the field would be filled in by provisionals. So thank you for that correction. No provisionals uh, for tonight, tomorrow, and then uh, the, the, the Monday makeup as well. Thank you. By the way, the track record is still John Blankenship. Oh, my. Still the all-time track record for a late model. 13 854 set back on 2014. And again, we had two new winners last year. Ryan Gust and Ashton Winger had never won here. So somebody the next three nights may etch their name in the record books. Well, the next six nights. Well, it's now five, but this is this is just uh man, this crowd's gonna be great all week. And the weather, hey, after today, this was the coolest day of the week, DJ. So yes. we're gonna be in the upper 70s come Saturday. All right, the next group of cars on the track. There's might, Blair No Door. Yes, might, sir. I mean, we're shorts. I mean, we're, you know, they only show us from the waist up, right? I wear shorts. <laughs> I don't care. Terry Casey, part of East Bay Lord, DJ. <laughs> oh, no doubt is. about it, is he? Yes, he, yes, indeed. He is a former a former winner here as well. Yes, sir. Terry Casey. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You remember when we came here for the first time, 2005. And by the way, the Conley's here. First time since that day. Since 2005, 2005 yeah. Who held the track record then? Uh, uh, Jason Montgomery. And Seth Daniels is his, Seth Daniels is, is he, not his nephew, what is he? Oh, They're man. related. I know, and Jason's probably going to send me a text. Jason may be his uncle, I'm not sure. I, I think it is, uh, yeah. Uh, Jason, I know Jason's probably, Jason's Jason, not send here. Us a message, Jason, yeah, send Montgomery. me a message. So we had Jason Montgomery, and then I think Chris Wall, the if he not, he held the track record. Yeah. Sleeper might have held it, and then it's been John Blankenship since 2014, and right now Ricky Thornton Jr., at 15141, Kylan Garner out here, the 128 in the Osho, Missouri. Trey Martin with us here, Sissonville, West Virginia's hometown. Yeah, and Garrett that was, Alberson out of, yes, Las we, I was, gonna say, yes. I was just going to say, we saw Trey Martin. That was him. Oh, Terry Casey with a flat left rear tire on the uh, in memory of Arnie Ranta Motorsports Waver Cat Francis 42. Uh, we saw we just uh, saw him flash by as well. The 21M, the the former Kenny Howe car. That is Trey Martin, by yes, the way. Sir. Kenny Howe is here in his in his own equipment. Trey Martin uh, bought an old Kenny Howe race car. Trey Martin hasn't raced 
in four years, yeah. the Sissonville, West Virginia driver. He says he got a steel motor in there. He said, you know what? I talked to him earlier. He said, he said I always wanted to come to East Bay and turn some laps, and so uh, that's what he's going to get an opportunity awesome. to do. How about Jason Milam, first time with Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series out of Mississippi, the 82 car. Dan Battaglia in the 45 out of Gretna, Nebraska. And we just saw there Terry Casey out of New London, Wisconsin, former Lucas Oil Rookie of the Year. Drake Troutman out there, the number seven car out of Heinemann, PA. Got it. Brother-in-law, Jason and uh, Seth Daniels' brother-in-law. Okay, That's what you. it is. Yes. There you Seth go. Seth Daniels' uh, first full year last year in a super late model. Had a tough season, but uh, look forward to a lot of drivers looking positive for this year, man, down in the Ohio Valley area. As I mentioned, uh, half of Tyler County's here. <laughs> right? MOV, baby. It's awesome. It's, uh, it is. It, it absolutely is. We just need is. Derek Dahl to come back here and run, don't we? <laughs> we need, need Butch McGill to come out of retirement. Butch McGill. Butch May, uh, how about uh, that heat race back in, uh, oh, boy, probably 05, maybe 18, 06? When he was in the, remember Danny Mitchell? He was in a Danny Mitchell car, right? That's right. He was in the Danny Mitchell car. Yes, he was. Throw a slider on Billy Moyer in turn four. That's right. That's exactly right. Billy Moyer, the all-time winningest driver of the Winter Nationals, 27 wins. Don O'Neill at 15, Steve Francis at 11, Brandon Shepard with nine, Scott Bloomquist and Jonathan Davenport and Josh Richards all tied with eight. Dennis Serve Jr. with seven, Jimmy Mars with six wins. There's a good look at the Jason 82. Milam. Yeah, Jason Milam out of the uh, the Carpenter Racing Stable, the uh, Guntown, Mississippi driver. There's Rick Thornton Jr. Ben mentioned at the top of the broadcast has never won here at East Bay Raceway Park, RTJ, with uh, six career Winter Nationals wins to his credit, uh, including uh, wins at, uh, at Ocala and uh, actually wins at uh, Golden Isles, Ocala, and Alltech, but uh, has never picked up a win here at East Bay. Fastest in that group, DJ, 15-1-4-1. By the way, Tim McCready with his win on Saturday night, dominating win. Well, he, it was him and Dalton Wilson. They were the two best cars on the track. Dalton Wilson coming up short in that one. Finishes second. McCready, a 17th Speed Weeks race win. That tied Jonathan Davenport for eighth all time. They are behind Billy Moyer, Scott Bloomquist, Josh Richards, Don O'Neill, Steve Francis, Jack Boggs. Anytime I can get a Jack Boggs reference in, we're good. Right? Brandon <laughs> Shepard, J.D. McCready, Rick Eckert, Top 10 all-time speed weeks. There's Trevor Collins with us here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, he's here running with us. The former, uh, actually the defending uh, uh, Delaware International Speedway and Georgetown track champ down there. That's good looking him in that uh, uh, WW3 trucking. Uh, uh, Sadie Scott Farms, Ed's Auto Center, FK Rod End, sponsored at number 11 AC. Not Sadie Hawkins. Not, not the Sadie Hawkins dance. That uh, Michael Rigsby snuck that reference in the other night. Who else? There's a good look at the 25. Yep. yep, saw him earlier. Talked to him in the pit area. Said they're uh, making strides every time they're out on the racetrack. Tony Jackson Jr. in the Capitol House car now coming into frame. That's Kenny Howe. So Kenny Howe's nice old car. car. Yeah, the yellow and red car is going to be Trey Martin. That's Kenny Howe there on the racetrack. In the, uh, that is a Dickens-powered rocket for the uh, House Recycling. Kenny Steam Cleaning sponsored number 21. We've also got Dean Carpenter on the speedway. He'll be just behind Kenny Howe in the number 51. And there's Levi Yetter. Nice. Nice. Glad to have him with us here this week. Yeah, third in last year's Lernerville Speedway point standings in the CRS contracting Sportsman Supply Shiloh Ranch sponsored entry. There's Dade City, Florida's Brendan Smith. Brendan Smith running every single Speed Weeks race in the Big Daddy's Cattle. Joe Pacino trucking sponsored at number 17. Yeah, a lot of drivers running with us through Golden Isles 2.0, right? They'll be in Volusia next week. By the way, uh, Speed Weeks, Lucas Oil, Late Model Dirt Series drivers, they've won every one of them, right? Volusia, two at Volusia, Devin Moran and Hudson O'Neill. And then yeah. the race is um, three for Thornton, two for O'Neill, one for McCready. So they are undefeated, the Lucas Oil, Late Model Dirt Series, over the last two weeks in that competition. There's Spencer Hughes. Spencer Hughes, 19 9, excuse me, 14 9 5 2. Spence. And these are the JMC Mo JCM Motorsports for Colton Miller, a team based in Birmingham, Alabama. Clyburn Take Lines, Yellow Hammer. Nick Saban Racing. Okay. Well, let's, what's let's he doing now? I know you think he's you, you think he's uh, owning dirt late models. Is that he what? might be? What about Belichick? Belichick and Saban not coaching this year. Hmm. 
Did Saban come back to the Dolphins? No, that will <laughs> okay. never happen. We will throw him. There is uh, Logan Zarin, the second-generation driver in the uh, 1Z, a three-time winner last year out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In the All-American Framers, Valvoline, Nap Auto Parts, uh, Lavelle Enterprises, Pro Power Rocket. There is Amanda Robinson making her East Bay debut. Ross Robinson's wife, formerly Amanda Whaley, in that good-looking Stokely Materials Commonwealth Equipment, the Frozen Farmer sponsored number four, two-time Delaware International Speedway track champion and there's Brandon Shepard and the Longhorn factory team the hoist IV level hydration I beam steel doors Messiah Valley Transportation Realtree Coltman Farms sponsored number B5 Brandon, Brandon Shepard Sh nine-time winner here at East Bay DJ that's right and there's the two car Logan hit. Yep. Logan hit the uh, second generation driver. Dad Shane was uh, the 2023 20, uh, Elkins Speedway track champ. The hit enterprises. Jenkins Ford TKS contracting high point construction sponsored number two star. And their cousin, the late Tim hit. I don't believe ever won here. He did not. At East Bay, unfortunately. John Berg, the sugar bear. Uh, he might be here. He won the very first one here back in what? 1978. There's Will Harrington. One L on the Barry Rod Icon American Racing Team. Back with us here, he is out of Hawkinsville, Georgia, as we are in group number four here tonight. Bob Gardner out there, the Pink Panther out of Washington, Illinois. David McCoy, the Coleman Farms 187 car out of Franklin, North Carolina. And Ryan Payne, the 12, there he is, out of Pennsboro, West Virginia. Yeah, Ryan First Payne. First time here. Ryan at Payne, got his uh, first career super late model win at uh, my home track, Tyler County Speedway. Back in June of last year, the Paints Trucking Services, uh, Pratt Massio, uh, Perkins Supply, Jenkins Ford, Spun Century, R.J. Conley, are you kidding? Welcome back. And the Conley River Terminal, Conley Trucking, Rocket number 71C. Good to see R.J. and Rod back here with us. Six wins a year ago for the Wheelersburg, Ohio driver. There's the Pink Panther, Bob Gardner. You talked about him, and there's one of the Copeland Farms entries. That's David McCoy out of Franklin, North Carolina in the 187. Is timing down here for just a second. A little bit of smoke coming out from underneath the 187 of uh, McCoy. Might have been a tire rub. Is he right now is the fastest driver on the track in this session of hot laps uh, with a 15179. We talked about this being dirt draft hot laps as it is all year long. Again, go to dirtdraft.com. Uh, you get $100,000 in play money and you get to pick five drivers, stay under that salary cap of 100 grand. And you can uh, compete against other fans all across the country, or you can even create your own group and compete against your buddies. Maybe throw a dollar in the hat if you want to as well. It's, uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, I play. Uh, I'm not real good at it, but I've been on a hot. I've been on a hot streak uh, uh, on other gambling apps here lately, though. Wait a minute here. On what? Uh, what like? What are you on? Like FanDuel? I'm or? on them all, man. Yeah, FanDuel. Well, down, in, in Florida, you got to use uh, you got to use uh, uh, Hard Rock. Uh, you got to use Hard Rock bet. But uh, do they actually good... take bets on how many times they're going to show Taylor Swift Sunday? I, I, there, I'm uh, sure that's a pro. They're they're a hundred percent. That'll be please a prop tell me bet. she's not going to be here this week. <laughs> please tell me you're not a, you're not a Swifty. No, no, I'm not. Come on, no. you have been to an. I was pretty Tour Swift concert. in high school. I was fast in high school, but I'm not as now. James be nimble, James be quick. That's right. Remember there's, shooting? there's Jeff Matthews. Go ahead. What, you, what was the, your 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 wife volleyball? Tell us a little bit. You're going to the Steel City. Uh, they what is they that? won. Uh, yeah, her okay. club volleyball team. She coaches a 13 year. Well, she's a, a head varsity coach as well. Uh, getting ready to enter her sixth season this fall. But uh, her club team, like an AAU, like a yeah. travel team, right? Uh, they they competed against uh, 47 other travel teams in a in a big to the that's biggest awesome. tournament they're in all year in Pittsburgh, and, uh, and they that's won. Awesome. They won the whole thing there for their age so group. So that yeah. so that flow racing nil money is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to some uh, people, right? I'm gonna get home, and the doors are probably going to be locked, and she's going to run off uh, and live happily ever after with our Siberian Husky wolf dog. How about Jason Jack? He might have a Siberian Husky. I don't know. He, he looks like a <laughs> – he might have a miniature dachshund. I'm not sure. But he, Jason Jack, first time in Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. There's the 18 And he lives in Tampa. He lives in Tampa. Right. Where are the Boyds at? Billy Boyd, and they may come out this that week. That is very possible. Where's Ken Monahan? I saw Sean Monahan uh, the other night. The uh, the modified hot shoe was turning wrenches for Jackson Heights. He uh, by uh, by the way, uh, Sean Monahan and Jason Fitzgerald 
uh, were wrenching on the uh, the Jackson Heist car at Alltech the other night. They were. They were. There's Matt Costner, the 66 seat car. He had some help from uh, Cody Mallory the other night, did Matt Costner, uh, yeah. obviously West Virginia. That's why he's parked by uh, Garrett Smith down in the pit area down there. We saw that earlier. There's the 33, Jeff Matthews out of Brandon, Florida. The 31, what was it, a year ago? Was it on the Monday night? The Todd Steele Woodings hard charger. What a great run that Tyler Millwood had out of Kingston, Georgia. Yeah, uh, last year on Friday night, or on uh, Monday night, rather, Monday night, came yep. from uh, 20th to 3rd. And uh, what awesome. was his uh, his best career finish for the Lucas Oil late model? Well, 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 how about the fastest driver in that hot lap session? Brandon Waggle out of Middleburn, West Virginia, in the Scott West Racing 47WZ. He is the uh, defending Rush late model champion there at uh, Tyler County. And it's a good look at him again in that Scott West Racing, Jug Restaurant and Ice Cream, Ridge Runner Farms, uh, Titan Energy Solutions, Weigel Farm sponsor entry. Now, that's the car that, uh, remember, Tyler Riggs was right. behind the wheel of that car, former fast qualifier in that car at the Hillbilly 100. So exactly. you know that car's got some speed. And they're going to get out and do some traveling. I mean, uh, whenever Tyler's not running, Tyler County's not running Supers, they're yeah. going to get out the same way with, uh, you know, some of the other guys, Ryan Payne and such. So a lot of upgrades on some equipment in the mid-Ohio Valley. Or there's the seven Ross Robinson, the Stokely Materials, Hard Scrabble Express, ML Joseph Carr out of Georgetown, Delaware. Again, 75 cars entered for this first night here at East Bay. Tonight, again, after last night's rainout, we'll stretch that out over three days. We'll qualify Monday's field, which there's 67 entries. And then tomorrow night, we'll run heats and B-mains, and their feature will be on Thursday night. So instead of doing the uh, day-night double headers, which really some were good, some not so good, you know, we're just going to do that, and that's kind of neat, and everybody gets their money's worth. There's the three car out of Lebanon, Missouri. And the Willard Quarry's entry, that is Brennan Willard. Brennan Willard in car number three here in this group. Again, this is group number six with the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series. And there's this car guy's been, This guy's six for six, car six, Clay Harris. Yeah, Clay, out of Jupiter, Florida. Clay Harris has been good. He's been uh, really, really good. You mentioned you called it. He's been six for six here so far. And the, uh, you know, first uh, first full year behind the wheel of a super late model. He picked up wins last year in three uh, different classes uh, in the South, the Golden Isles of Henry County, uh, Volusia Way Cross, and, and more. Uh, the 39 there, Tim McCready talked about him, a winner at All Tech just the other night in the Paylor Motorsports Mega Plumbing of the Carolinas sponsored entry. And there's a good look at Ross Robinson, another former Delaware International Speedway track champ in the seven, followed by Daniel Adam out of Wake, North Carolina in the 75. Ethan Dotson in that Coltman Farms racing number one with the little 74 after its second quickest in this session of Dirt Draft Hot Laps. And that guy is the fastest driver in dirt draft hot laps uh, right now in this group tim mccready with a 14.960 so tim mccready the most recent winner with the lucas oil late model dirt series and a four-time winner at east bay raceway park is the fastest driver in that session of dirt draft hot laps Next group of drivers making their way out on the racetrack. There's a good look at Hot Rod Conley in the uh, Conley River Terminal. Conley Trucking Rocket Chassis number 71R. Next driver on the track behind him in the Bruce Kane Racing 15K. That is going to be Jensen Ford out of Johnson City, Tennessee in the All About Doors. Mining Construction, Jerry Siding, Roofing and Windows, Fox Factory sponsored 15K. Two wins at Volusia in a crate last year, one at Volunteer for the former Ironman South Series champion. And there's the 20. It's Jimmy Owens out of Newport, Tennessee in the Kohler Motorsports, Reese Monument Company, Boom Test Well Service, Ultimate Towing and Recovery, Tim Short Auto Group, sponsored number 20. Behind him, oh, nope, go to the front of the field. There's a look at Mike Benenham. Mike Benenham out of 
uh, Salem, West Virginia, the former Stars Rookie of the Year in the uh, Team Zero Rocket Chassis, the Black Rock Enterprises, BSI Well Service, Clarksburg, Max sponsored number 25. I mentioned Dale and Shane McDowell helping him out this week. The 99 of Devin Moran. Devin Moran, two-time East Bay winner in that Roger Sellers Racing Double Down Motorsports, Lazy Days RV, Big River Steel, c and Trucking, Red Oak Pub, Car Source Auto sponsored number 99. A few other drivers on the track for this session of Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Talked about him earlier, James. That is Seth Daniels out of Jackson, Ohio. Get his first career super late model win last year at the Skyline Speedway. Daniels in that Wilson Excavating Haddle Trucking S&D Transport sponsored number S21. Dalton Wilson, tight perm. The runner-up at uh, All Tech the other night. I like it. Yep, the James Ratliff Racing, Great Lee Farms, MGL Auto Sales, Keltner Contracting, ICS sponsored number 18D. And I think we've got a few other drivers out there. There's Michael Lake in the number 27 on the racetrack. Michael Lake in that Bobby Lake Motorsports sponsored number 27, the uh, Pro Power Longhorn, the DNM Truck Repair Base Racing Fuels, Gary's Auto Sales, Ty Tory Racing. And around Michael Lake, I got a, I got a little story on Michael Lake here. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, and, and there's I believe that's going to be Jaden Frame behind the wheel of that number 81, one of the Riggs Racing entries. That's Jason Riggs there. That is Jason Riggs. Yes, Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Johnny Clure, by the way. Johnny Clure was in the Clint Smith. He was Clint Smith's crew chief. Remember him? There you go. I uh, Yes, I do. I, I would not have, but, uh, but I do remember Give me a Michael Lake that. story. Well, so the Michael Lake story, we'll get, a, we'll get a camera back on that 27 of Michael Lake. So he's got a special decal that is, I think it's on the roof post uh, or the sail panels of that race car. Uh, a, a local driver in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, went missing last year. Tyler Doyles is that driver's name. There's a look at Devin Moran in the 99. But the 27 of Michael Lake, he's got a special decal in that car. Uh, local Myrtle Beach area driver Tyler Doyles, he went missing last year in the ocean. He was out on a John boat, um, and just long story short, simply put, uh, was unfortunately never found. A very tragic story there. But uh, Michael Lake carrying Tyler with him. It was uh, just a little over a year ago. January 26th was the one-year anniversary for that. And uh, certainly, I know, I, I believe his mom is watching uh, this evening and, and members of his family. So I wanted to send a special shout-out to them. Yeah. And, oh. and a thank you to Michael Lake as well for uh, carrying that decal. And, and I talked to Michael about it in the weeks leading up to this. He said it was a lead he could do he wanted uh, he wanted to make it feel like Tyler was out there riding with him yeah that's a class act so thoughts and prayers continuing to the family as well Jimmy owns by the way 14 7 6 8 in that last group DJ the fastest car well Todd Brennan's made it down from Zanesville Ohio OHIO in the 20 car rocket chassis hot shot 107 that is a power washer, by the way. We found out it's not. It's not an FM. It's not an FM radio dial. Right? It is not an FM radio dial. No. It's a. It's a power washer. It's a okay. power washer. Uh, there you go. <laughs> traffic and weather on the traffic weather power <laughs> washing on the tens. There's Brian <laughs> Shirley in the three S car, and the Bob and Lisa Cullen Thomas and Express entry. The forty B car. Kyle Bronson. Kyle Bronson out of Brandon, Florida. Yes, Ben. He was been was been trying to talk. I don't think he Kyle was. Bronson won no. one win in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series here. He's got wins over several divisions, a modified, and what a street stock as well here at East Bay. There's the 15 car. That is Blake McLean. Blake McLean out of Mississippi. First time here at East Bay Raceway Park. The best performance number one, Tyler. There's the eight in the Sonic entry. That is Dylan McCowan. Dylan McCowan. Out of the Show Me State of Missouri, the 93 of the Hanover PA, that is Corey Lawler. The USA 1 is Chris Hawkins out of Neo Show, Missouri. And Jonathan Devin, the Nutrient Act Solutions, 49 at 14, 765, 14765. Jonathan Davenport, 14765, Tyler, 14870, Dylan McCowan at 15063. So they're about a second off of the track record again. 13854, John Blankenship, 10 years ago, February the 11th of 2014, holds the track record here at East Bay Raceway Park. Again, Billy Moore, the all time winner in the Winter Nationals, 27 victories. Maybe he can make it for the October race. We'll see. We need a we need like a reunion of sorts for that October race. 
You know, like all, all, the, all the drivers that have gotten out of it, you know, the guys that have raced here in the past. Tim Lance here, uh, by the way, uh, this weekend. Billy Moyer not, though. I was, man, I was I was really deep down inside hoping that, uh, right. that Mr. And, Smooth, you know. And they are not together anymore. They are not. No, no. I know. Fortunately not. Well, there's a former there's a former winner. What's he up to? Maybe I mean, we can get him up. It's, uh, I believe uh, uh, giving a little guidance to uh, Garrett Smith, a Scott Blitquist. Getting around pretty good there, and he's going to run several Lucas Oil races here this year. The all-time winningest driver. How about that, Scott Blitquist, the all-time winningest driver in the Lucas Oil Series, the all-time have a Tampa Series winningest driver with a one one hundred. He was taking pictures, by the way, in his Nikon. Oh my! He got a Nikon. I don't know. Uh, I said, move over, Heath Lawson. <laughs> There you have it. Was that everybody? Was that everyone in uh, Dirt Draft Hot Laps? There you go. All right. Well, that means next up on the agenda will be All-Star Performance Time Trials. Field will be split in half, Group A and Group B. So the first half of the field will uh, qualify against each other. We'll then wipe the slate clean. And the second half of the field uh, will qualify against themselves as well. And there's a good look. Those of you watching at home, the painting on the back straight with it. it uh, uh, that wall has changed every year. And uh, I love the looks of that one. In the same sense, uh, can't help bring a tear to your eye. 19 East Bay Raceway Park, 1977 to 2024. I, a lot of folks talking at home, you know, ah, you know, we're here and it may not be. No, th 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 this is it. This is, it's not, it's not coming. It is done. It is, yep. there is, there is no coming back. Make sure you're here in October. And we're going to use this opportunity about uh, two minutes away from All-Star Performance Time Trials. So we'll step aside here for a moment and thank some of the folks that make this a possibility. Don't go anywhere. You are watching Mav TV on Flow Racing. Welcome back to East Bay Raceway Park. James Essex, Dustin, Jared, Ben Shelton, ready to go. All-Star Performance Time Trials, the 29. Out of Mona, South Carolina, Larry Groove, the 81. Out of Dicker, Tennessee, is Jane Frame, and the 111 out of Centerville, PA, is Max Blair, Larry Groove. He's in the Berkshire Halfway. IMLP Enterprises, the Davis team, on cue. Financial Mortgage, Super Eat Solutions, and Jane Frame in the Riggs Drilling, Moses Motorsports, BP Fields, Coleman Farms, Blair in the Creek Side Auto Sales, C&J Dairy, Murphy's Logging, Upstate Auto Group, Centerline to Motorsports 111. All right. All three drivers have taken a lap time. Jayton Frame right now, 15023, the early time to beat. We'll see if anybody is able to improve on lap number two. That was Jayton Frame on your screen. Second lap for Larry Gruba is a little better, 15844, his best lap. Jayton Frame, second lap, not as good. Max Blair, second lap is better, and that's the early time to beat for the driver of the Centerline Motorsports 111, 14889 for Max Blair. Again, Kerry King, the Del Mar Delaware driver, scheduled to be the first qualifier. Mechanical issues not 
running here tonight. So Hayden Cow want to be up next to 214 out of Rincon, Georgia. He's in the supply chain management. Bill Stein Wise, Forest Products, SRI, Longhorn Mullins, Sean Mattingly's out of Cortland, Illinois, and the Ramirez Midwest. Jess Desserts, Illinois, Power Sports, Liquor Graphics, JM Tools, Zeus Chassis, Pro Power, and Tim Dome and the Tim Short Auto Group, Dome Cycles, Way Floor Covering, Dak and Reynolds, Finish One Auto Supply, Rocket Vic Hill for the former East Bay winner. And we have a caution out on the track, the Dave Warren Power Sports caution out on the track there in turn two. Yeah, Sean Mattingly out of Cortland, Illinois, and that is a Zeus Chassis, the Vermeer Midwest, Illinois Power Sports, Jess Desserts. Need to get some Jess desserts up Mike Monarakis here. That's right. does the Zeus. That's right. The Zeus race car the for uh, Sean Mattingly, who did not race in 2023. He goes around, and so he will get back on the qualifying clock. None of these three drivers uh, that are on the racetrack were able to trip the trigger. We'll get him back up to speed and try to get in here in all-star performance time trials, James. Hayden Cowan, the 214, Rinkin, Georgia, the run runner racing, the veteran crew chief, former NASCAR crew chief, Harold Holly, turned the wrenches on the 214. Made some noise last year at the World 100 at Eldora back in September. It's Max Blair right now, DJ 14889. The fastest car so far in the center line motorsports, Longhorn. And Hayden Cowan just gets into the wall as you see that. So the 214 with the two with the little one four got into the wall down there on his qualifying lap. As the white flag will be out, each of these drivers going to come around to Hayden Cowan again, not going to like his lap as he got into the wall. Tim Dome, a former East Bay winner. Third quick on lap number one, and there's Sean Mattingly. His first lap time will be good enough for fifth quick. Checkered flag going to be out for Hayden Cowan in that rum runner racing 214. His second lap will be much improved. Fifth quick, 16465. The showstopper, Tim Dome. Third fastest, his best lap is a 15166. And Sean Mattingly will be sixth quick, his best lap 16884 after six cars. Max Blair, the time to beat. Ashton Winger here, winner here last year, the Jeff Matthews Racing Recreational Vehicle Select, Kaiser Manufacturing Integra, Credit Union Marketing Solutions, and Super Gay Express Rocket Durham. Then 28 is Dennis Serve Jr., a seven time winner here at East Bay. And then McBride, Mac, Bill Mac Truck Sales, Fox Shocks, Idea Red Mix, Kaiser, Rocket Clements, and Boom Briggs, the 99B out of Bear Lake, Pennsylvania, in the day. Warren Power Sports, Excess Story, Trans 15, Briggs Transport, Rocket Clements at 99. B. You got all of those in before the white flag wave, James. I'm very impressed. Ashton Winger, fourth quick on lap number one. Dennis Herb Jr.'s first lap time will be fourth quick. And the first time around for the 99B of Boone Briggs will be sixth fastest. Second lap time coming up for the driver of the 12, Ashton Winger. And it's much better. Second quick, 14909. Second time for Dennis Herb Jr. Fast time, 14752. And Rick Boone Briggs, his second lap. He jumps up to second quick. Good lap. Boom. 14883. Dennis Herb, Boone Briggs, Max Blair. Now your top three after nine. I'm next to be the 17 in his own DTR Motorsports entry. Heinemann PA for Drake Trotman. He's in the RFI Resources. Wheeler Fleet Solutions, Bill Stein, Stone Natural Resources, Jerry Siding, Roofing and Windows. Certainty, Thunderhill Trucking, Longhorn, Jay Dickens. The 58 is Garrett Alberson out of Las Cruces, New Mexico in the Mesilla Valley Transportation, Bill Sports Shop. Bill Stein, Sunoco, Dunright TV, Romer Machine and Welding, Lucas Oil, Capital Race Decals, Longhorn Clements, and Terry Casey, the 42 in the Swarby Cap Ranges, Rocket Poe Power, out of New London, Wisconsin, both Casey and Alberson, former Lucas Oil Rookie of the Years. Troutman seventh quick on lap number one. Garrett Alberson will be fifth fastest on his first time around. And Terry Casey goes ninth quick on his first trip around the one-third mile oval. Drake Troutman on Heidman, Pennsylvania, brings his own 7T off corner number four. Second lap a little better. Seventh fastest, 15090. Garrett Alberson's second lap not as good. He'll be fifth quick. And the second lap time for Terry Casey a little better. He stays ninth quick, 15364 after 12 cars. Dennis Herb Jr. still the time to beat, 14752. I'm next to be the 2022 Dirt Track World Champion out of Eatonton, Georgia. It'll be Garrett Smith. He's in the terminal maintenance and construction, Atlanta Paving and Concrete. Senior Life Insurance Company, the world famous Cadillac Ranch, Go Lithium, Rocket Vic Hill for its father, Scott Smith. Blair Nodorf, the 76 at Renner, South Dakota, in the Bargain Barn Tire Center, Grandpa's Bend Ranch. Katie Day, Maloney Real Estate, Slicker Graphics, Western Provisions, Asphalt Pros, How Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, Glenser Trucking, Rocket Clements, and Jason Milam out of Guntown, Mississippi, in the Carpenter Construction, 78 Towing and Recovery, Auto Acceptance, Tennyson Brothers, Sheet metal, Southern Pine Tree Service, rocket with a Jeff Burns power plant, DJ. Fifth quick for Garrett Smith on lap one. Ninth quick for Blair Nodorf. His first trip around on the first lap time for Jason Milam is good enough for 13th. 
checkered flag is out and the second lap time for Garrett Smith, second fastest, 14.815. Blair Nodorf, second lap also quicker, seventh quick, 14.972. Jason Milam brings the 82 off corner number four. He also improves on lap two, 12th quick, 15744. Dennis Erb, Garrett Smith, Boom Briggs, now your top three after 15. Here at the finale for the East Bay Winter Nationals in his first race in four years at Assistonville, West Virginia. Will be the 21 and the former Kenny Howell rocket. It'll be Trey Martin in the Toby Cunningham engine. Howell's recycling, Hal Steve cleaning entry, followed by the 45. His first time here out of Gretna, Nebraska. It's Dan Battaglia in the MB Customs, Jack's Automotive Outlaw Enterprises, Stumpy's Custom Creations, and Nebraska's Best Lawn Care. How about that? Nebraska's best lawn care. How much snow do they have out there? We got some lawn care going on. Uh, they, they're the best ones to get a hold of. They are the. Th <laughs> They're the best in the Cornhusker State. USA 128 is Kylan Garner out of Neosho, Missouri, by the way of Diamond, Missouri. He's in the Double Down Asphalt Stack Products, Garner Trucking, Phase 2 Technologies, Longhorn Shepherd Racing Engines, USA 128. It's Dennis Herb Jr., Garrett Smith, Boom Briggs, Max Blair, your top four here in Group A. Indeed it is. There's a good look at Kylan Garner in the 128. Dan Battaglia, 17th quick on lap number one. First lap time for Ricky Thornton. Did you get Ricky Thornton Jr.? Because oh, well, we're missing a couple, right? Okay. Ricky Thornton Jr.? Yeah, ninth quick in the okay. big. Yeah, I got it here. It Ricky Thornton Jr. in that SSI Motorsports, Coleman Farms, Big River Steel, Hoker Trucking, Dino One Incorporated, sponsor 20RT. Dan Battaglia, 18th quick. Uh, Ricky Thornton Jr., best lap, lap two. He is seventh quick. Is after now 18 cars, James. It's still Dennis Erb, Garrett Smith, Boom Briggs, your top three. Up next should be the 51. Uh, that'll be Dean Carpenter. He's out of Coldwater, Mississippi in the Carpenter Construction. Tennyson Brothers Sheet Metal Performance Bodies and Parts Extreme Graphics. Followed by the six in the Danny Hatcher entry. Clover, South Carolina for Ross Bales in the Hatcher's Auto Sales. Riverwood Self Stories. Tim Logan Racing. Schaefer's Oil. The Longhorn Durham and Spencer Hughes in the JCM Motorsports Center. Yellow Hammer Design and Construction. Clyburn Tech Lines. Boswell Oil. Neon Bubbles Car Wash. Link Construction. Fox Shock Steering Buddy. And professional concrete cutting and drilling, 19M. 14th quick on lap number one for Dean Carpenter, 16th for Ross Bales in the Danny Hatchrone entry in the JCM Motorsports 19 of Spencer Hughes will go third fastest his first time around. Second lap time for Dean Carpenter, a little better, still 15th quick, 15389. Ross Bales, second lap, a little better, 16th quick, 15404. Spencer Hughes jumps up to third fastest. Good lap, James, 14871 for the Causeyville, Mississippi driver. Now after 21 cars. It's Dennis Herb Jr., Garrett Smith, Spencer Hughes, your top three. Up next should be the 11 AC. That'll be Trevor Collins. Trevor Collins, Alice Seaford, Delaware. Back with us here at East Bay Raceway Park on the track. He will be followed by the 25 and Tony Jackson Jr. Tony Jackson Jr. is out of Lebanon, Missouri. And followed by the 81, it'll be Jack Riggs. Jack Riggs out of Nolensville, Tennessee, in the Riggs Drilling Solution. Moses Motorsports, VP Fuels, Coleman Farms, Longhorn Clements, car 81J. Trevor Collins, first lap time, 17th quick. First time around for Tony Jackson Jr. is 18th quick. And the first lap for Jack Riggs, not bad. 12th fastest, second lap time for Trevor Collins, the former Delaware International Speedway track champion, or defending track champion. A little better, 15th quick, 15 triple three. Second time around for Tony Jackson, Jr., 19th quick, 15408, his best lap. And Jack Riggs, second lap, not as good. He'll be 12th quick, 15133. 24 cars have qualified in Group A. Dennis Herb, still the time to beat, 14752. Tony Jackson, Jr., the Superior Power Custom Homes, Bill Stein, Elite Trailers, Day the Construction, Norris Logging, Springfield Raceway, Merrill Bonding, Trevor Collins, the WWC3 Trucking, the Sign Shop, Ed's Auto Center, Compass Energy, City Scott Farm, ML Performance, number one will be Hudson O'Deal at Martinsville, Indiana, the Valve of the Sarbert Camp Ranches, Rocket Durham, the 21. He's out of Ines, Kentucky, the Rocket J. Dickens will be Kenny Howell, Kenny Steam Cleaning, Tim Logan Racing, Possible Performance, Extreme Graphics, and the 17 Double State City, Florida's Brendan Smith, Big Daddy's Cattle, Jim Pacino Trucking, Plum Crazy Plumbing, Guarding Hurricane Protection, and Skipper's Mo Smokehouse, 17 Double S, Rocket Durham. I am Neil. not, uh, yeah, but it, it, didn't, it didn't update it on mine, but I can see that Hudson O'Neill is fastest right now with a 14.666. That is his best lap. 
So it looks like Brendan Smith goes 17th quick. His best lap, a 15.345. There is your new quick time. It's the new deal. Hudson O'Neill with a 14.666. I'm next to be the nine out of Cabot, PA. It'll be Levi Yetter. He's in the Sportsman Supply, Throw a Concrete, CRS Contracting, Shiloh Ranch, Mr. Water Heater, Rosebrook Village, Jake Brake Customs, Powder Coating, and Penske Shocks, Barry Wright Clements, the 4G, Washington, Illinois, with the Pink Panther, Bob Gardner, and the Fox Shocks, Dynamic Drive Line, Hooker Horners, VP Performance Bodies, Rocket Clements, and the four is Amanda Robinson out of Georgetown, Delaware, and the Stokely Materials, Commonwealth Equipment, Fox Shocks, Boswell Oil, the Frosted Farmers, Wesley Collins Builders, ML Joseph, Sand and Gravel, First Aid Roof and Exterior Cleaning, Hard Scrabble Express, Sussex Carpentry, in Atlantic Prime Mortgage for Levi Yetter going to be 19th quick on lap number one. Bob Gardner's first lap time good enough for 23rd quick and the first time around for Amanda Robinson 18th fastest the Georgetown Delaware driver. Second lap time for Levi Yetter a little better 15th quick 15.176 second time for Bob Gardner is a little better he's 24th 15.468 and the second lap time for Amanda Whaley Robinson 19th best her 19th quick, her best lap, 15.360. Hudson O'Neill, Dennis Herb Jr., Garrett Smith, your top three after 30 in Group A. So far, your pole setters for the first three heats here tonight. Here's the 187 out of Franklin, North Carolina, to be David McCoy. He's in the Coleman Farms Racing Autism Awareness, Bill Stein Shock, Special Needs Schools of Gwinnett, Longhorn, Vic Hill, followed by the 71C, first time here in 19 years. It'll be R.J. Conley out of Wheelersburg, Ohio, in the Conley Trucking, Conley River Terminal, Impact Race Gear, Basel Race Schools, Rocket Dream, and the 12R, Pinsburg, West. Virginia's Ryan Payne in the Payne Trucking, Pratt, Massio, Climate Control, Self Storage, Jenkins Auto Parts, Perkins uh, Supply, TAD Outdoors, Tom's Tire, fourth in Tyler County points a year ago, DJ. Yes, he was. Uh, David Payne is 28th on lap number. Uh, David Ryan. McCoy. David McCoy is 28th. Ryan Payne is 29th. I tried to insert David Payne into this race, and RJ Conley was 21st, lap number two. For David McCoy, 30th quick, 16245 his best lap. RJ Conley, 21st, 15366 his best lap. Ryan Payne, he goes 25th quick, his best lap time, a 15424. 33 drivers have attempted a lap. Hudson O'Neill, Dennis Herb Jr., Garrett Smith, currently on the pole of their respective heats. Right now, your front, front row of heat one, it'll be O'Neill and Hughes. About that, it'd be Dennis Herb Jr. and yep. boom, boom. If it held, if it holds up, here comes Logan Hit and then Garrett and Max. Logan Hit the two star, Buckhannon, West Virginia, Jenkins Ford, Hit Enterprises, TKS Contracting, High Point Construction, Rocket Vic Hill. The B5 would be Brandon Shepard out of New Berlin, Illinois. The Hoist IV Little Level Hydration, Real True Outdoors. Coleman Farms, I mean, Siding Doors, UNOH. Massive Valley Transportation, Longhorn Clements, and Will Harrington. He's in the SRA Performance, Torco Racing, Oz, ASD Motorsports, American Racing Pro Series. Barry Wright Icon, Clements. Logan hit 29th quick on lap number one. Brandon Shepard, 27th first. 27th. On his first lap, Will Harrington, good lap. James, six quick, 14885. We'll see if anybody's able to improve on lap number two. And Logan hit does, 28th fastest, 15468. Second lap was his best. Brandon Shepard jumps up to 18th quick. 15310 for B Shep. Will Harrington does not improve on lap two. Right now, he is six quick. Best lap, 14885. If it holds up, Will Harrington would be on the outside front row of his heat race. We have one more driver left to qualify in Group A. And it's Logan Zarin, DJ Hookstown, PA, his hometown. In the Jim Zarin own entry, Valvoli Napa Racing, All American Framers Level Enterprises, Jake Brake Custom Powder Coating, Jay's Automotive, and Slicker Graphics, Rocket Pro Power, Logan Zarin, the young man out of Pennsylvania. No, we've got, well, RJ's uh, back. No, that is no, it's Kenny uh, Howell. No, that's Kenny Howell, yeah. Okay, we'll go with Kenny Howell. Oh, no, that's uh, Trey Martin. Trey Martin, I'm sorry, in the old Kenny Howell car. Yeah, he was supposed to be, uh, he was supposed to come out uh, about halfway through this group, so he should just get one qualifying lap he as does. the checkered flag is out. So Trey Martin out of Sissonville, West Virginia, will be 35th quick. His lap time, 16504. Again, that's a former Kenny Howe car. It's the Howe's Recycling, Kenny Steam Cleaning, Posky's Performance Parts, Tim Logan Racing, Bruce Built, sponsored steel block underneath the hood of that rocket chassis for uh, Trey Martin in the 21M and that is going to be a wrap I understand so no Logan Zarin no uh, Kerry King here in Group A so unofficially Hudson O'Neill the fastest driver in all-star performance time trials in Group A Dennis Herb Jr. second quick Garrett Smith third if those times hold up they will start on the pole of heats one two and three and joining them alongside Spencer Hughes on the outside front row of heat one Boom, 
Briggs on the outside yep. front row of heat two, and Will Harrington on the outside front row of heat race number three. And only two of those have ever won here. O'Neill has won here four times, and Dennis Herb Jr. has gone to victory lane seven times here. How about that? How about but that? Very interesting. All right. So we'll see what happens if that can be all-star performance overall fast time as we get those cars back to the pit area. So again, Group B will be rolling out. There'll be heats four, five, and six here tonight. By the way, we'd like to thank the fine folks at the Sunoco Race Fuels, of course, sponsoring the, the Sunoco Race Fuels Road to Wheatland, $16,000 up for grabs to the top 15 in points through the Show Me 100 at Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. For decades, Sunoco Fuels have been associated with racing excellence. Today, Sunoco Race Fuels has expanded the reach of its racing fuels li fuel line around the world to include all types of professional motorsports and other activities where premium race fuels make a difference. With its unsurpassed innovations and years of experience, it's easy to understand why more and more engine builders, racers, tracks, and shanksing bodies choose Sunoco Race Fuels over all other racing gasoline combined. It takes high-performance racing fuels that are willing to go the distance. Fuels like those produced by Sunoco the DXP Durability Extra Protection 116 as the uh, largest manufacturer of racing gasolines in the world. Sunoco has a 40-year track record of winning performances. For more information to find your local Sunoco Race Fuels dealer, go to www.sunocoracefuels.com. And by the way, in the first six Lucas Oil races, all won by Sunoco Race Fuels, Dustin. Oh, Garrett. good little stat there. I like that, James. Thank you, Richie Lewis, for all your help, as always. Saw Richie in the pit area earlier today and got to talk to him at Alltech as well. There's all kinds of dignitaries. Brandon Bernstein from Lucas Oil with us here. How about that? Welcome, Brandon. Might, I may try to get him on here at, uh, at some point as well. His dad was a pretty good drag racer, Kenny right? Kenny was not bad. Kenny, Kenny was, was not, bad, not right? too bad back in his day. Absolutely, man. That was, uh, man... Uh, yeah, man, drag racing back in that time was so, so much fun, right? And, Who did you like? Was, like, uh, like Big Daddy Don Garland, Big Daddy Don, Don Garland, yeah. Shirley Muldowney. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you know what the really cool thing was is, is, number one, those guys all worked on their cars back then as well. I mean, and gals, uh, they all worked on their cars back then. And you could walk, I mean, you could literally walk right up to the cars in, the, in, in those drivers in the pit area. I uh, used, uh, used to go to the National Trail Raceway there uh, just outside Columbus, go. Ohio, every year. Was, New York? Big, uh, was that New York? Uh, Eddie Hill, guy. Eddie Hill. Eddie Hill. Oh, Eddie Hill. The veteran, yeah. Joe Amato. And, uh, hey, Tony Stewart's going to make his top fuel debut at the, at, the, at the Gator Nationals. He's made about 20 passes so far, moving from alcohol into top fuel. How about you, that? you and I have known Tony Stewart. Of course, he's one of our 15 bosses that we have <laughs> at Eldora. No, nobody ever thought he would be into drag racing at age, what is he, 50? He'll be 53 coming up. How about that? Awesome. Uh, there's Good, a chance. There's power to him. Still a chance for you to do it, James. Hey, I'm all right. But well, James is going to get that tattoo first from Angry Elephant. Uh, hey, now, wait a minute. It's a year anniversary, James, today. Today. <laughs> it, has been, it has been 360. Oh, this is leap year, by the way. Give me another day. <laughs> look at a neck tattoo. would look good on James Essex. No, I don't think a little so. little teardrop under his eye. <laughs> Chase, Chase. <laughs> you guys are awesome. All right, Chase Yuckham uh. should be up first here. Out of Manhattan, Kansas, he's in the Young Hands Discount Liquor Shop, Quick Convenience Stores, Bozard, Ford, Lincoln, Grant, Petroleum, Rocket, Clements, followed by the 46 out of Jacksonville, Florida, be Earl Pearson, Jr. Earl Pearson, Jr., three wins here at the Clay by the Bay. He's in the Jason Round, Lucas Oil Products, Tickler Body and Frame, Wrecker and Grain. Millard, I, that, that's nice how that rhymes, doesn't it? What uh, what rhymes? Body and Frame, Wrecker and Crane. I... They don't really rhyme, but it's neat. In today's music, you can rhyme just about anything. Millard Family Chapels. Etchburger Trucking, Rim and Realty, Sunoco Racial, CD Contractors and Developers Bonding, Cowboy Royce in Hilliard, Florida. Check that out. And the BMF Clements in the 48 out of Brimfield, Illinois. It'll be Tim Lance in the Massive Valley Transportation, Outpace Racing Products, Floyd's Way Systems, Carl Auto Group, Matt CarQuest, Digital Copy Systems, Longhorn Pro Power. They will be the first three here in Group B, which will be heats four, five, and six here tonight. Well, there's Logan Zarin. <laughs> there he is. He, uh, well, I guess, I guess he'll go to Group B then. Maybe there was a late uh, entrant or something that threw our lineup well, off Kane by one scratched. Car. Yeah, early. So I don't know. He was scheduled to be the I first qualifier. So yeah, we'll go I with don't know. Logan Zarin and Group B DJ out of Hookstown, PA, in the Valley Napa Racing All American Framers, Level Enterprises, Jake Bray Custom Powder Coating, Jay's Automotive, Slicker Graphics, Rocket Pro Power. 
did you get them all? Was that it? Oh, yeah. You done already? Uh, Chase Young hands, right? Okay. Earl yeah. Pearson Jr. Okay. Let's do you it, got, brother. You got them. Good job. Thank you, sir. Logan Zarin, 15-245. Chase Young hands, 15-376. Earl Pearson Jr., 15-809. Again, we've wiped the slate clean. These are the first three drivers on the track for Group B. Logan Zarin, second lap, not as good. Second time around for Chase Young hands, a little better. Stays second, 15-2483, one thousandths off of Logan Zarin. And Earl Pearson Jr., second lap time, also a little better. He stays third, 15-5-5-5. Logan Zarin laying down the early time. It was a good-looking race car for LZ. 15245 is uh, best lap time. There's Tim Lance out of Brimfield, Illinois, again, the Massey Valley Transportation, Outpace Racing Products, Lloyd's Way System, Car Auto Group, Car Quest, Digital Copy Systems, Longhorn Pro Power, Brandon Waggle, he's out of Middleburn, West Virginia, and the Jug Restaurant and Ice Cream. Ridge Runner Farm, Scott West Racing, Specialized Asphalt, Land and Hall Construction, Titan Energy Solutions, Rocket Mullins, and Jason Jack out of Tampa, Florida. He's in the Billy Sullivan Racing, Mid-Florida Tree Service, Ace Welding, Downtown Performance, Rocket Clements, number 32. So Tim Lance will go third quick on lap number one. Brandon Weigel now goes third quick on his first lap time. Jason Jack, the Tampa, Florida driver, is sixth fastest his first time around. Second lap time coming up for Tim Lance. Fourth quick, his best lap, 15548. Brandon Weigel, second lap, not as good. He'll be third quick, 155 triple or double zero, his best lap. And the best lap time for Jason Jack. Sixth quick out of six with a 16.046. Logan Zarin, 15245, the time to beat in Group B. Well, there was the Todd Steele Buildings hard charger. One year ago on a Monday at a Kingston, Georgia, it'll be Tyler Millwood and the Millwood Plumbing Competition Racing Equipment, Penske Shocks, Machine Construction Company, Grace Mobile Services, 2-3 Collective, Rocket Durham and Matt Costner out of Ridgely, West Virginia, the 66C and the Nelson Auto Sales, RH Lab Mechanical Contractors, Wheeler Fleet Solutions, Mighty Other Parts, Global Truck Outfitters, Fox Factor, Rocket Coordinate, Tanner English, in the Base Fuels, Capital Way, Superior, Supreme Enterprises, Viperous Management, Creekside Auto Sales, BMF Durham for Sean and Lisa Martin. Matt Costner goes to the top of the leaderboard, 15165. Tanner English, fourth quick with a 15266 on lap number one. And the checkered flag comes out for Tyler Millwood, his best lap, lap two, 15510. He is six quick. Matt Costner's second lap, not as good, doesn't matter. And Tanner English, his second lap, a little better. He is third quick, 15246, his best lap. Matt Costner, now the time to beat in All Star Performance Time Trials in Group B with a 15.165. Jeff Matthews will be up next, the 33 out of Brandon, Florida, the Johnny Doan Plumbing Recreational Vehicle Select Credit Union Remarketing Solutions, Angry Elephant Buddies Home Furnishings, Rocket Durham, Brian Ledbetter, first time here on a Stanley, North Carolina, in the All Better Seamless Guttering, Rocket Gibbons Motorsports Engine, and Danny Snyder, the 4S at a Green Lane PA, and the virtual Lessons Hair Design, Snyder's Mobile Wash, Penske Shocks, Mastro Cola, Mastro Cola hauling Kryptonite by Burwell Clements for us. Jeff Matthews will go ninth quick on lap number one, a top 10 for him, the modified here last week. By the way, Brian Ledbetter is 12th, and Jeff Matthews gets into the wall on lap number two, and there is some heavy damage on the number 33. So he uh, might require some assistance to get off the racetrack in that RVS Electric Kaiser Manufacturing Super K Express Angry Elephant Tattoos and Piercing Sponsored Entry. We'll take a look at the instant replay and see what has brought out this Dave Warren Power Sports Caution for Jeff Matthews. As he heads into turn number one and oh baby, that thing, he broke something. Yeah, that car hopped up there a little bit. Uh, James looked to me like he maybe broke something, and that car made heavy contact with the outside wall. So it looks like Ernie Leftwich down there at the end of that race car, and they'll get that mangled rocket chassis uh, pulled off the racetrack. Tough break for the Brandon, Florida driver, Jeff Matthews. Did you talk to Ashton Wing earlier? I did not get a chance to. Okay, so we said he was the only car that went with a three right rear the other night. Everybody went with two, right? Uh, that came from uh, series director Rick Schwab. Right. Yes. So that was that was fine, and, that, and he said that was not the reason he didn't run. He, he ran pretty good. He ran the top ten. His steering column broke. Oh, my. So he said, you know, you're turn. All right, everything's good for Jeff Matthews down there. And uh, 33. But the steering column was broke. Go wait to. Yeah, let's serious. see what happened to Matthews, who is the car owner for Ashton Winger. And again, Jeff is uh, okay. 
the car not so much here tonight did he it's, oh there you go right there yeah wow yeah that great great, great shot job. uh by adam martz there our low angle camera guy so that was what uh, he went off into turn one and with that uh nose folded under just a little bit mm, man that was a that's a hard lick into the wall well they can take that back to the race shop tonight over in brandon florida and hopefully get that fixed don't know about tonight though so that was the reason with Ashton Winger. The steering column was broke. So he's trying to he's trying to turn one way. It's going another way. But he did a great job hanging in there in the top ten the other night. So yeah, he turns. just wanted to make sure to tell me it was not his tire selection. But you know, and and that and you know that happens. I thought maybe he's going to tell me the steering wheel come off it, or uh, something crazy like that. And my, you know, it's it turns out that's uh, that you need that, especially on a half. You do hour need that. <laughs> How about Tim McCready there night? Was that? He was the 47th and final qualifier and got fast yeah. time overall and never nobody ever passed him the rest of the night. Unbelievable performance by McCready. He's, uh, you know, when when there are certain guys that uh, that win um, that show genuine enthusiasm in oh, victory yeah. lane, and and he I think goes without saying that he's one of them. I mean, it, you know, the the. The, the pounding the roof, the the happiness, uh, you know, and, and and he's told us before, you know, he's, I mean, he, he'll be the first to admit he's, he's told us, you know, he said, I'm not always, I'm not always a positive guy, you know, sometimes I can be a bear to be around with the team and everything, and, and so that's what makes the wins that much sweeter for him as well, because, uh, right. you know, as much as, as he uh, expects perfection out of his race car, he expects perfection out of himself, you know, probably more well, than anything. He's also a long-suffering Buffalo Bills fan, so, I mean, you know. <laughs> not as long-suffering as uh, Max and I. Well, the Dolphins. And the Riggs is. And the Riggs is, by the way, as well. And and Matt Causer. There's there's a lot of Dolphins, uh, maybe more Dolphins uh, fan drivers kind of here than the other race track. down here in Florida, aren't you? We just need Dan Marino in the house to wave the uh, green flag, be the Grand Marshal for the final winter night. Can we get that? Can we get that? Dan Marino, yes. Bob Greasy. <laughs> I'm Mark Duper and Mark Clayton signing the Marx Brothers. The Marx Brothers. All right. Brian Ledbetter out of Stanley, North Carolina. Out on the track, Danny Steiner in the 4S. Do we have Earl? Do we have Ethan Dotson as well? Uh, I uh, believe that Ethan Dotson has Ethan made Dotson, his the way. Coleman Farms 174 Special Needs Schools of Gwinnett. Coleman Farms, Bill Stein, Autism Awareness, Longhorn Clements 174. Fifth quick for Ethan Dotson on lap number one. Brian Ledbetter, 13th quick. Danny Snyder, 12th quick on their respective laps. Uh, best laps. Checkered flag is out for Ethan Dotson. His best lap. He'll jump up to fifth quick. Best lap time was a 1 5 4 1 8. So we've had 50. Uh play it again we've had 13 drivers attempt a qualifying lap you see there on the left side of your screen matt costner one five one six five logan's there in second tanner english chase young hand 75 will be daniel adam out of weight north carolina the integrous risk solutions mobilization funding llc spiffy's justin langdon electrical contractors restore warehouse rlm enterprises rocket pro power ross robinson the stokely materials commonwealth equipment boswell oil fox shocks the frozen farmer wesley collins builders atlantic prime mortgage first date roof and exterior cleaning ml joseph sandy grapple sussex carpet Hard Scrabble Express and Tim McCready, the Mega Plumbing and HVAC, Baker Mitchell Company, Armslist.com, Bill Stein, Brad Ben, Tracking Mark Four, Longhorn Cornet for Paler Motorsports. Daniel Adams, six quick on lap one. Ross Robinson, 11th quick on lap one. Tim McCready goes fifth fastest his first time around the clay by the base. Second lap time for Daniel Adams, not as good. Seventh quick, one five four five five. Ross Robinson, second lap better. Tenth quick, one five. Five four five and Tim McCready's second lap time not as good. He'll be fifth quick one five three two zero. Sixteen drivers have now attempted a lap. Cosner, Zarin, English, your top three. You notice the top four in qualifying have never won here at East Bay. That is correct. Cosner, uh, Zarin, English, Young Ends. Now Terry English is one. He's in the house. He's a former winner here in a Rayburn car. Tanner third here so far in Group B. Brennan Willard drives the three out of Lebanon, Missouri. He's in the Willard Quarries, Willard Asphalt, Bill Stein, five-star race car bodies. Lebanon ready mix, Napa of Lebanon, Modern Images, Lucas Oil, Capital Scott Bailey. Brandon Thurlby out of Traverse City, Michigan in the Masters Bill Durham. Elena Chemical Contract, Chemical Company, Melky Trucking Company, RBJ Creations, Corrigan Race Fuels, Dave Bowen Trucking, and Clay Harris. He's in the Wilkerson Farms, Impact Electrical Reserve, Metal Framing, BGR Speed Shop, Poor Boys Racing Supply, Rocket Durham. Willard 15th, Thurlby 9th, Harris 8th on lap 1, lap 2, Brenda Willard not as good, 15601 is best lap, he'll be 15th, second time for Brandon Thurlby, a little, bit, little better, 15455, he is 8th quick, and the second lap, time for Clay Harris atop the leaderboard, you have yourself.
a Florida Georgia Speed Weeks Clay Harris 15137, the Jupiter Florida driver. Now the time to beat an All Star Performance Time Trials Group B. Wow, impressive has that young man been here over the last couple of weeks. Say the West Virginia's Mike Bennett I'm up next in the 25. The Team Zero Clements, BSI Well Service, Black Rock Enterprises, C. Birchers Ranch, Clarksburg Match, the 28. Union Town, PA for Michael Lake in the Base Fuels, Ty Torrey Motorsports, ML Performance, Gary Zotto Sales, Bill Stein, K2 Engineering, Young Blood Concrete, Teamsters Local 491, DM Truck Repair, Longhorn Pro Power, and Jensen Ford in the Bruce Kane, All About Doors, Anthony's Pizza, Fox Factory Mining. Construction all about wraps, Jerry Siding, Griffin, and Windows, Rocket Mullins. Better of 19th, Lake 18th, Jensen Ford 8th, first time around. Checkered flag is out, second lap time coming up for the Bristol Bullet, Mike Benedum. A little bit better, 17th quick, 15750. Checkered flag for Michael Lake, his second lap time not as good, he'll be 18th quick. His best lap is a 15857, and Jensen Ford jumps up to 7th quick, good lap for the Bruce Kane Racing 15K. Jensen Ford turns a 15383, Clay Harris, Matt Costner, Logan Zarin, your top three after 22 cars. So the top five now have never won here at East Bay. S21 is up next. It's his second year in a super late model. It'll be Seth Daniels out of Jackson, Ohio. He is in the Tim Haddle trucking. Wilson excavating. Reds rolling. Garage. Montgomery Motorsports. 740 race cars. s and Transport. a and Truck Stop. And Wilson Motorsports. Graphic Creations. Rocket Pro Power. Devin Moran, the 99. The Double Down Motorsports. Lane Stays Harvey. The RV Authority. Big Rivers. DOC. W Trucking. Bill Stein. McHugh. Chrysler. Dodge. Jeep. Ram. Red Oak Puzz. Smoky Mountain Speedway. Longhorn. Clements. And Jimmy Owens. The Reese Monument Company. Ultimate Towing and Recovery. Tim Short. Auto Group. Capital Electric of Tennessee. Boom Test. Will Service. Red Lawn. Goodrich Fluid. Rocket. Vic Hill for Bobby and Jessica Kohler. Seth Daniels is 17th quick on lap number one. Devin Moran is 19th quick on lap number one and the first time around for Jimmy Owens. Third quick for the Newport Nightmare out of Newport, Tennessee. Second time around, Seth Daniels a little better. He'll be 18th, 15646, the best lap for the Jackson, Ohio driver. Devin Moran's second lap a little better. He's still 18th, 15626. And Jimmy Owens not able to improve on lap two. His best time, a 15242. Shake up in the top three. It's now Clay Harris, Matt Cosner, Jimmy Owens after 25 cars. Jimmy Owens, two-time winner here at East Bay. Up next will be the 18D out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. It'll be Dalton Wilson. He is in the MGL Auto Sales, JRO Trucking, the Yellow Wetlet, Keltner Contract. To Garnard Technologies, Grant Lee Farms, Innovative Community Solutions, BL Construction, New Point Lighting, Worldwide Custom Car Haulers, Longhorn Clements, Jason Riggs, College Grove, Tennessee, his hometown, Riggs Drilling Solution, Moses Motorsports, BP Fuels, Coleman Farms, Longhorn Clements, and Rod Conley out of Wheelersburg, Ohio, on the Conley River Terminal, Shane Custom Decals, Afterburner Performance, Rocket Drain, 71R. Dalton Wilson, third quick on lap number one, good lap, Jason Riggs, 11th fastest. His first time around in Hot Rod Conley is 21st quick. We'll see if Dalton Wilson has anything for Clay Harris. He needs to pick up less than an attempt on lap two. He does it. 15100 for the big perm. Good lap for Jason Riggs. Eighth quick, 15303. And Rod Conley's second lap time, not as good. He'll be 21st quick, 15645. You got a new quick qualifier in Group B. It's Dalton Wilson in the 18D with a 15.100. All right, Brian Shirley. He only had one session of hot laps here on practice on Sunday and said we're good to go. We'll see what he can do here tonight at Chatham, Illinois. He's in the Thomas and Express Hoker Trucking, Fox Shocks, All Guy Performance Parts, J and J Ventures Gaming, KBC Graphics, Ricky Lemon Motorsports, Rocket Durham, Todd Brennan, and the Hotshot 107, Dow Cameron Oil and Gas Shopping, Reduct.com, Full Moon Contracting Limited, also Stoneman Norman, yes, yeah, Storman Norman, 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 Storman Norman, Aaron Hall. No, it's not him. Oh, Stack Products. <laughs> Look at Clements and Blake McLean at a cold water, Mississippi, the Carpenter Construction, J Mag Motorsports, Warrior Raps, Savannah McLean, Art Longhorn, Rayburn Motor under the 15. Brian, yes, sir. Brian Shirley, fourth quick, James, 15218 his best lap. Todd Brennan, 15th quick, 15480 his best lap time. And Blake McLean's best lap, good enough for 28th, 16.018. 31 drivers have attempted a lap, just a handful remaining. It's now Dalton Wilson, Clay Harris, Matt Cosner, your top three. That 15 car, the last Rayburn motor ever built under the hood of that car. I How about love that? It. 
keep an eye on that. It'll be the USA one. It'll be Chris Hawkins out of Neosho, Missouri. He's in the Stack Products Double Down Asphalt. Carter Health Management, Garner Trucking, Synergy Suspension, Longhorn Chinook. Corey Lawler out of Hanover, PE, the 93. The Ponchos Racing Products, Riding, Coffins Auto Clinics, PVC Lubricants, Crease Auto Sales, All About Wraps, Rocket Pro Power, and Tyler of the Best Performance Base Fuels, Robert Speed Company, First Class Septic, Bulk Material Lift, Anthony's Pizza, Sandy Weld, Rocket Clements. Corey Lawler, 16th quick on lap one. Tyler Earp goes ninth fastest his first time around. And the checkered flag is going to come out for the driver of the number USA one. That is Chris Hawkins, his best lap, 32nd quick, 16053. Corey Lawler, 16th quick, best lap, 15464. Tyler Erb to the top of the leaderboard in the best performance motorsports, number one, Turbo, with a 15004. That is now the time to beat an all-star performance time trials in Group B. But watch the next three. The last three, it'll be Dylan McCowan, Jonathan Davis, Davenport and Kyle Bronson, the final three here in Group B. Bronson in the race car engineering, Borsha's equipment, Michael Lloyd's hauling and demolition, Tillman roofing, LTX home builders, Lucas Oil, Bradco Environment, Mullinex Recycling, Davenport, the new Tunex Solutions, Dynagro Seat, Lucas Oil, Bill Stein, ASC Warranty, Mark Martin, Edward Mega Plumbing, the Carolinas, Longhorn Clements, Dylan McCowan, the Sonic, Pomeroy Services, Mel Hamilton Ford, Empire Energy, BLC Transportation, Heritage Tractor and Lee Construction, Longhorn Scott Bailey for McCown. McCowan's 28th quick on his first lap. Jonathan Davenport, fifth quick. That puts him on the front row of a heat race. James Bryan Shirley on the bubble for being on the front row of a heat. And Kyle Bronson goes 13th fastest. We'll see what KB4 he has on lap two. Dylan McCowan's second lap, his best lap. 26th quick, 15616. JD's second fastest, 15039. Can Bronson get on the front row of a heat race? He will not. 13th quick, 15334. The best lap for the Brandon Fora driver. So a shakeup in the front row at the end of All-Star Performance Time Trials in Group B. It's Turbo Tyler Erb setting the quick time. A five-time winner here at East Bay in the past. 15004. Jonathan Davenport second quick. Dalton Wilson third. If those times hold up, they will be on the pole of heat races four, five, and six. Then it's Clay Harris fourth quick. Matt Cosner fifth. And Brian Shirley sixth quick. Followed by Owens. Logan Zarin, a good qualifying lap. He's eighth quick. Tanner English ninth. And Chase Younghands will round out the top ten. As they're going to release these cars to the pit area, we'll step aside for a very quick set of commercial breaks. We'll come back with opening ceremonies here at the 48th annual running of the VLAN Winter Nationals. Those of you at home, you're watching this live. This is Mav TV on Flow Racing. What are you up to? Oh, I just spent the whole morning having a little battery-powered fun. I can see that. This thing is powerful. Hey, honey. I was just gushing about our new favorite toy. All right, Joel. Ready to go again? You should join us sometime. Okay. I've got to get me one of those. General Tire delivers. For more than 30 years, Lucas Oil Products has been solving some of the most difficult mechanical problems in the automotive, marine, and industrial industries. From our original core four products, heavy duty oil stabilizer, power steering, stop leak, transmission fix, and fuel treatment, we have now developed over 400 custom products to help solve some of the world's toughest mechanical issues. Go to lucasoil.com to see what we have in store for you. Lucas Oil, it works. Every race matters for the Big River Steel Chase for the Championship, presented by ARP. The Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series competitors will battle it out at every race for a chance to win the series championship and a record total points fund payout of over $1 million. Four drivers will battle for the series championship at the season finale to I determine that Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series champion. <laughs>
Welcome back to the 48th annual running of the Veland Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil here at East Bay Raceway Park. We have a full Tuesday program for you here tonight. And upon the conclusion of that, we will have time trials for last night's rained out portion as it gets spread out over the course of the next few nights. So uh, teams have started to make their way into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit area for this evening's first of six heat qualifying heat races for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. And once again, they will be eight laps in distance and the top three out of each heat race will make their way into tonight's main event. Three B mains coming up then here this evening. The top two out of each B main will transfer in. And as James Essex mentioned earlier, uh, there will be no provisionals here this evening. With that in mind, it's time to get underway with this evening's opening ceremony. So those of you that are here on the grounds at this time, we'll ask you to please rise if you are able. Gentlemen, we'll ask you to please remove your caps. And I will introduce to you the chaplain for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, Mr. Russ Ward, who will deliver this evening's invocation. Russ. Thank you so much. Please join me in a word of prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, God, I just come to you, Lord, humbly with thanksgiving on my heart and on my lips tonight, God, for you are worthy of all praise and all glory every day and all the time. God, I just thank you for the beautiful day that we had here at East Bay Raceway. Lord, the sun was shining, and uh, we know there are many back home that are uh, wishing they would be here. But, God, we just thank you, Lord, that you have blessed us with a great sunny day. We thank you, God, that you love us unconditionally, Lord, so much so that you sent your son to die on a cross that we may have life eternally with you, God, if we uh, seek him in all that we do. Father, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for the men and women who are serving our great country, Lord, watching over us and keeping us safe, God. I just ask you to watch over them, uh, bring them home safely to their families, Lord. And God, watch over our drivers tonight as they race, God. I pray that you give them all wisdom, Lord. Watch over our crew members, our staff, and our great fans as they go to and from, Lord. Father, as always, we just always thank you for all that you are, all that you do. And we just ask these things in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Russ. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please remain standing. It's an honor to have this gentleman with us all week long, singing the our country's national anthem out of Bloomington, Indiana, Rusty Shields. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Ladies and gentlemen, the goat of national anthem singers, Mr. Rusty Shields. If that doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will, right? <laughs> that is oh, awesome. Man. I, uh, this is it, brother. Our The final Tuesday Winter Nationals ever. Don't make me cry yet. I uh, know. We'll save that for Saturday. We'll man. save that for Saturday. This is going to be an awesome. Thanks to Velan and all their... Help us wear well and uh, all the great fans coming out tonight. 75 cars entered here tonight. And Dustin, are you ready? Penske Shock Seat number one, the winner is going to start at the Victory Fuel Pole here tonight. 
It will be the defending Lucas Oil National Champion and defending World 100 winner, the number one at Amarinsville, Indiana. It will be Hudson O'Neill alongside the JCM Motorsports 19M out of Meridian, Mississippi at Spencer Hughes. Row two on the inside in the center line Motorsports 1-1-1 out of Centerville, Pennsylvania. It's going to be Max Blair on his outside seeking his first ever East Bay Raceway Park win out of Martinsville, Indiana by way of Chandler, Arizona. Chandler, I was going to say Adele Highland Adele, Chandler, Iowa. Arizona. It's Ricky Thornton Jr. in the 20RT. Drake Proudman drives the 70s out of Heinemann, Pennsylvania. And on the outside will be Levi Yetter. He's out of Cabot, PA in Connor 9. See for Delaware's Trevor Collins going to start inside row four. And on his outside, a former East Bay winner out of New London, Wisconsin, Mr. Excitement, Terry Casey. Row five of the Danny Hatcher, number six. It'll be Ross Bales out of Clover, South Carolina. And Logan here, the first time here in the two-star out of Buchanan, West Virginia. When we move back to row six, we find Guntown, Mississippi's Jason Milam in the 82B, Rick and George's Hayden Cowan in the 214, and Dan Battaglia out of Gretna, Nebraska in the 45D. 13 cars, if they all make it, scheduled to go eight laps with three of them transferring to the A main. Man, these, uh, these heat races might be as good as anything that we see here tonight. Eight Hudson laps. O'Neal. Yep, eight laps. And uh, Hudson O'Neill, a four-time winner here at East Bay. You mentioned Hughes, Blair, Thornton. Well, everybody else except Terry Casey, who's won here once before, former series rookie of the year. So two of the, what, 13 starters have never won. Two of, two of the 13 yes. have won. Two of the 13 have won. Two of the 13 have won. Yeah, Hudson O'Neill, a four-time winner, including two last year, yeah. by the way. Yeah, and, and Terry Casey, you talked about him. Uh, he get that win here at East Bay Raceway Park back in 2008. Again, we'll be back th tomorrow night, Thursday night. We're back to points. Okay, they start throwing out. It'll be the seventh points race. They'll start throwing out their worst finishes over the last few weeks. And then the Thursday night finale will be a non-points race. It'll be based on Monday's rain out that we had here yesterday. Yes, you know, it's speaking of points, guys, obviously tonight, not a points event, but... This is the third time this year that Hudson's already been an all-star performance fast qualifier and uh, no other drivers more than once. Is that team off to a fast start? They won six races last year on their way to the title. They've already got a couple of wins and a really fast race car. They'd love to get back here tonight to Lucas Oil Victory Lane. They got a good starting spot for Penske Shocks Heat 1. Well, will the domination of drivers running the Lucas Oil Lane on a dirt series continue here during Speed Weeks, Dustin? They won two at Volusia. They've won uh, Thornton, O'Neill, and McCready the other night. So all Lucas Oil regulars have swept the speed week so far. That's pretty impressive. What a year we're going to have, Dustin Jarrett. Indeed it is. I think we have a special guest join us on the broadcast here momentarily as well. As the Dave Warren Power Sports caution lights have been turned off. Green flag going to wave this time in the Nutrient Act Solution starting zone. It's the New Deal. Hudson O'Neill on the pole. Causeyville, Mississippi. Spencer Hughes on the outside in the JCM Motorsports 19M. Green flag waves and heat race number one of the final Winter Nationals is underway. And the winner will start of the victory fuel pole here tonight. Tonight at the clay by the pay, Bay, O'Neill will grab the lead down the back straight with a valve late. Server Camp Ridge is number one. Rocket four, Durham off at turn four. He will have the lead. Max Blair in the 111. Last year's O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. Running in the second spot, Spencer Hughes third. Ricky Thornton Jr. is fourth. Again, no provisionals here tonight since it's a non-points race. Thornton on the inside. Had to get out of it on Spencer Hughes. It's O'Neill out in front, DJ. O'Neill is your race leader. James, one lap in the books in this one. There's a good look at the side-by-side -side battle. Uh, two laps in the books, rather. Side-by-side -side battle for the third spot on your screen. That's the battle for the transfer. The 19M of Spencer Hughes has it. The 20RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to take it away. This one out front, though, is still all Hudson O'Neill. Coming up halfway next time around. We'll have four down and four to go. All right now, Hudson O'Neill into turn number three. The defending Lucas Oil Late Monday Night Series National Champion, the defending World 100 winner. Max Blair in the second spot. And the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution is out on the racetrack in turn number one. And it's Dan Battaglia, the Nebraska driver, DJ. Yeah, tough, uh, tough break for Dan Battaglia. He is okay as uh, the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution flag flies three laps into this one and five laps to go. And we have got, we talked about all the Hall of Famers that are with us here this week, James. We got one of them joining us on the broadcast right now out of Chickamauga, Georgia, Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell joining us on the show. Talk to you the pit area earlier. First time here since 2011, right, Dale? That's right. That's right. It's been a while. 
man, that is uh, that is awesome. And you said the first the first thing that you noticed uh, was. Uh, the, uh, the mineral company there at the back straight away, it's gotten a, a bit higher over the last 13 years since you were here last. A lot's changed, or, you know, outside the racetrack, but the racetrack still looks awesome, and there's great racing here, so uh, it's fun. It's fun. And, you know, I know you guys go a lot of places that you that the heat races or something may be a little bit boring, and y'all have to find something to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> this is not the place. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. Take a look here real quick. It's your FK Rod Ends instant replay. Is, uh, I believe Trevor Collins may have tagged the wall the last time. Uh, Yep, there it was, very uh, very top of the screen right there, as there was also a look at behind him, the 45 of uh, Dan Battaglia getting the wall. The reason for our Dave Warren Power Sports caution is he has, or is getting extracted off the speedway. But uh, Dale, uh, again, 13 years since you've been here, 13 years since you raced here driving for uh, Clint Boyer. You said that uh, the, some of the surroundings, things have changed, but the track itself looked the same. Did you get an opportunity to go out on the racetrack and physically walk on or physically get look at it either tonight or on practice night? I did practice night, uh, you know, and it actually looks it looks the same. I mean, you know, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's all changes each night, just according to what the weather is, you know, and, and what Al's dealt with, whether it be wind or sun or whatever, to get the track conditions in right. But it's always, it's always different, you know. So, so it's a, it always creates excitement. This place is you got to charge the corners hard here, you know. So that creates excitement, and uh, so that's what it's all about. Is, is this what? your first broadcast? Is the first time you've been on a broadcast? I think so. Oh my goodness! Look at that! I'm look, a newbie. Look, look, I'm look a newbie. We even got it up there. Voice of Dale McDowell. It's like the <laughs> voice awesome. of God. The voice uh, of Dale yeah. McDowell. <laughs> I Dale appreciate Mac. that. Question, Dale Mac. <laughs> what is it? Will you race in October here for the finale? I Ramp don't. Know. You got to talk to my brother, yeah, Sh oh, well, well, Shane Mac. Got to talk to Shane Mac. He pays the bills. I'm we'll just an employee. Shane Mac. Shane o Mac. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Maybe we can get you a tire sponsor. Right? Maybe so. Maybe James, so. I'm thinking if you sponsor uh, McDowell, Shane McDowell Racing, he will gladly bring Dale back here for that event. So that's, that's all it idea. takes. I'm going to have to save up, meet my Wheaties. This place takes it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the uh, 45 of Dan Battaglia is going to get towed off the speedway. The field getting lined back up in a Delaware double file restart. Again, three laps are in the books and five laps remaining. Those of you here on the ground, you see the scoreboard in the infield that shows you how many laps are remaining in the race out front it's the new deal hudson o'neill in the rocket chassis house car max blair the center line motorsports entry currently runs second he chooses the inside lane on this restart and james it'll be the 19m of spencer hughes on the outside again top three transferred to tonight's main event now you have one career win here in the winter nationals what year was that I think 05. I think. 05. Were you in the uh, seven, the blue 17 in? I was. The yeah, back, yeah, we're driving for Larry Shaw. There, there you yep. go. Yep. There you go. Very These good. guys are getting ready to fire off here, aren't they? Yes, All they right, are. Here we go. Hudson O'Neill at the Nutrinac Solutions Restart Zone. Three down, five to go. Heat number one here tonight for the Lucas Oil 8 Monitor Series. Back underway. Dale, what do you see so far in this track after 75 cars just qualified? Well, it was really similar as what, to what it was practice night. So, uh, you know, the bottom's going to work in there a little bit. It looks like those guys are trying to work the high side in. Once they get the crumbs off there, I think we'll widen it out and kind of see what we have. So what about this guy in this 20RT? What do you think about him? He's out there trying to make something happen, <laughs> as he always does, and does a good job at it, too. <laughs> that is the battle for the transfer spot. Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to take it away from Max Blair. Blair had it last time by. It'll be RTJ this time by. Three laps remaining in this one. Hudson O'Neill with a 1.8 second advantage out front. Spencer Hughes second as we double it up for you at home. And trouble for the six of Ross Bales. He's got into the wall. He's going to try to limp it down into the yep. infield, but he will not be able to. And that will bring out a Dave Warren Power Sports Caution flag as the Danny Hatcher own number six slows to a stop on the back straightaway. So let's see. We'll go back to lap five. It's be O'Neill, Hughes, and Thornton in the uh, 2024 Segway. Have you ever you've driven, have you ever driven? Now this is not the Mall Cop Segway, okay, Dale? It's a UT10 side by side. We're gonna give that away to Del Dora in October. DaveWarrenSegway.com. We'll see what happened to the six car into the wall. Ross Bales. You've got a lot of experience running against Ross Bales, don't you? Oh sure. Good good racer. Good racer. Yep. But James, you were saying that's not the Segway like the Mall Cop Segway. It's an actual no, side by side no, there. As we get no. ready to go back to Green Flag Racing again, DaveWarrenSegway.com to sign up for that. Top three transfer to the A main, and there's a look at them on your screen. Hudson O'Neill, Spencer Hughes, and Ricky Thornton Jr. They fire in the Nutrient X Solution starting zone. Halfway, single file here again. We'll have two to go coming up down the back straight. Hughes gets out of line, but here comes 
Thornton down the back straightaway and Drake Troutman on the top shelf, DJ, into turn three. Troutman has a lot of laps here in a modified, trying to make it happen in the super late model. Just two laps to go right now. He and Max Blair both on the outside looking in. And we've got more trouble as Terry Casey spins over in turn number four. And for the third time here in Penske Shocks Heat Race number one, we've got a Dave Warren Power Sports caution flag. You can go to DaveWarrenPowerSports.com to register for that 2024 Segway giving way at Eldora Speedway. You'll be there. I know you'll be there. I know you'll be at the Dream the World and the Dirt Track, right? Yeah, heck you yes. love that place. Yes. We'll Mr. be there. Mr. What was, what I, I tell you, Mr. Mr. Consistency. Yeah. Hey, he had some. I've uh, just got to figure out how to win. I'm, I'm, <laughs> man, I'm top three and top five. I'm not complaining, but, but i got to figure out how to do a little better there. All right, yellow lights have been turned off. Two laps to go. Six laps scored, two laps to go here in Penske Shocks Heat Race number one. Hudson O'Neill brings them back to the green. All right, we should go white next time around. We should have the Barons' performance. One oh, lap to Trauman go. Trauman jumped the cushion. And Trauman's going to lose several car lengths down the back straightaway. Thornton will go to the outside. Uh, Spencer used the Barons' performance. One lap to go, and we got a battle for second and third. Dale and DJ. It's going to be a difference in a few starting spots here as RT throws it hard into turns one and two. Spence on the high side. This happens one second behind your race leader. Checkered flag in the air. The winner of Penske Shocks Heat Race number one is going to be the new deal. Hudson O'Neill, second go goes to Ricky Thornton Jr. and Spencer Hughes. Grabs that all-important final transfer spot ahead of Max Blair, Logan Hitt, Trevor Collins, Jason Milan, Drake Troutman, Levi Yetter, and Terry Casey will round out the top 10 in Penske Shocks heat race number one. So the third spot goes to the 19 Emma Spencer Hughes, second to the 20 RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. And the winner of Penske Shocks heat number one in the Valvoline's Weber Cap Ranch is O'Neill Savage Gunners, Honey Eastman, Horse Wheeler, Mills, WR1, Sims, Rocket, one. It's the New Deal, Hudson O'Neill, Ben Shelton already three wins on the year and a four-time East Bay winner. He'll be on the pole tonight looking for his fifth career win at the Clay by the Bay. That's right. He'll be on the Victory Fuel pole and not just Four wins here. He won Thursday, Friday last year here, and probably nobody was more sad when Saturday rained out than Huddy is. He had a hot streak going. Hudson batting a thousand tonight. Quick time heat race win. You'll start on the pole. What do you see out of this racetrack so far tonight? I think uh, I think it'll come into itself. Right now, it's a little bottom dominant, but uh, that cushion seems to be building a little bit and getting closer to the fence. So. Uh, Maybe by the end of these heat races and uh, from the night on, it'll uh, that top of building will have a really good racetrack. Uh, but uh, just can't thank all my guys, everybody back at home watching all the family and everything. And uh, hopefully we got one more win in us tonight. The winner of Penske Shocks Heat Race number one, Hudson O'Neill, as we bring Summit Racing Equipment Heat 2 to the backstretch. You're exactly right, Ben. Right on cue, they're making their way on the track. Here's a look at the starting lineup for this one. Your pole sitter out of Carpentersville, Carpentersville Illinois, 2022 World of Outlaws champion, the Dennis Serb Jr. And on his outside, out of Bear Lake, Pennsylvania, the 99B, it'll be Rick Boom Briggs. Ashton Winger, he won here a year ago, the number 12, the Jeff Matthews Racing Entry, and Blair Nodorf in a 76 out of Renner, South Dakota. Look at that row three. This is why we love East Bay. Such an eclectic mix of cars on the inside. Out of Nolensville, Tennessee, the 81 is Jack Riggs. And on his outside, out of Neosho, Missouri, in the 128, it's Kylan Garner. Brendan Smith out of Dade City, Florida. R.J. Conley, the 71C, first time here in 19 years. He's out of Wheelersburg, Ohio. Fifth throw back on the inside in the Capitol House car, Tony Jackson Jr. out of Lebanon in Missouri and on his outside out of Washington, Illinois, the Pink Panther, Bob Gardner. Then it's Larry Groob out of Malden, South Carolina. Trey Martin out of Sis Sissonville, West Virginia. Kerry King is a scratch for tonight. Well, you're old school like Dennis Serb Jr. He has not changed the paint scheme on that car, has he, Dale Mack, forever, right? Us, us like... older guys don't like a lot of change, James. You know that. <laughs> Do you remember when he won here the last time? C.J. Rayburn was in victory lane with him because it was a Rayburn car. Yep, yep, I do. There you go. Dale, what do you remember most about it, uh, about East Bay Raceway Park and running this track? Well, it, it's always just, uh, I mean, you're chasing these track conditions. And and so, like, when you when you get out there, you, you, you know, you're trying to, when you leave the back straight or the entrance there to come out to qualify, you know, it's qualifying is so important. And uh, so you don't know whether to run high, whether to run low, whether what to, what to do. And then once these guys get rolling, they can kind of move around and see where they gain, where they lose. We'll see who makes the right decisions here in Summit Racing Equipment. Heat number two, again, Dennis Serb Jr. on the pole. Boom Briggs on the outside, and they fire the Nutrient Excellence starting zone, James. Dennis Serb, a seven-time winner here's career in East Bay. 
Day. Boom breaks down the back straight away. He has never won a National Touring Series event. The winner of this race starts inside row two. Dennis Herb Jr. has the lead. Here comes Boom Brink to 99B. Dennis Herb Jr. going to lead lap number one. Boom going to tuck in line in the second spot. Ashton Winger, the winner here one year ago, currently holding down that third and final transfer spot with Blair Nodorf on the outside looking in. Just behind them, James Tony Jackson Jr. working his way up from the back of the field. He's now inside the top five on lap number two. Ashton Winger, a winner here a year ago. He and Ryan Gustin, both two first-time winners here. And right now, it is all Dennis Herb Jr., eight-tenths of a second. Heather Line, the crew chief, on the 28 car. Woe slipping up a little bit as winger. Here comes No Dorf. No Dorf has been good during speed weeks. He runs in fourth right now. We got a melee in four. Yeah, caution. The Dave Warren Power Sports caution flag is going to fly. Jack Riggs nearly lost the handle down in turns three and four. Kylan Garner had nowhere to go and got collected up in it. You see wholesale damage to the front of the Jack Riggs number 81J. And again, that'll put us under a Dave Warren Power Sports caution with three laps scored, five laps remaining. Ben? I got a question for McDowell. As a guy that watched a track that he was he was part of for a while and close to his home go away in the form of Boyd's Raceway, kind of what's your thought on so many great racetracks going by the wayside over the past few years? Well, definitely you miss them. I mean, you know, we hate to see any racetracks go. Um, you know, we like to go to such a different variety of tracks, and it puts a good show for the fans at home and watching it, all the fans at home watching it on TV. You know, it's it's uh, so obviously it's it's you really miss them. And this place, you know, we talked about it earlier today. I mean, you know, as as the schedule changes, you know, for somebody to replace this place, it's going to be a big shoes to fill. You know, I mean, a lot of great races, a lot of history here, and and uh, you know, just such a such a hard hard facility or such a hard racetrack to get a get a hold of it's hard to come down here and be consistent so wouldn't surprise me i mean you got your handful of guys that are going to seem to hold it together you know but you got a lot of new up-and-comers that's that's qualified well and got up in there mixing it up with those veterans too so it's a uh, it's good, fun to watch you how about this clay harris oh, sorry i was gonna say real yeah. quick you've mentioned after this yeah. year uh dale the, you don't know what your racing career looks like is there maybe more promoter cap for dale mcdowell in the upcoming years i don't know i mean i hope so i want to stay involved uh, you know, it's, our program's going to change, you know, a little bit as the year as the year winds down. So, uh, Shane says we're still going to race a little bit. Just don't know what the level, you know, we, you know how much or, or what we're going to do. But it is getting harder to keep up. Man, you got so much young talent that's coming in, and, and uh, man, they're, I mean, it, they're fun to watch, and they're tough, you know, tough competition. Competition level is unbelievable. So, uh, I'm definitely, I, I'm not going to be able to just to pick and choose like once did. It looks like I'm going to have to be out there a little bit more to keep up with these guys. What about this Clay Harris? He's made all six races so far. He's been very impressive, Adney. I watched him the other night at, at Bubba was there, and, and uh, very impressive. Um, you know, several guys that, uh, you know, have, have really stepped it up, stepped the program up, and, and uh, running, running well. Good to see. Ashton uh, Winger, of course, uh, winner here a year ago. You've got, I mean, have you worked with Gary Winger before? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gary and I go uh, way, 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 yeah. way back. <laughs> way, 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 okay. way back. That was, that was the politically correct way of, of saying you've been at it a while, <laughs> That's right? That's exactly right. <laughs> Oh, yes. oh, the Dave Warren Power Sports caution lights not quite turned off yet. They are checking on a piece of debris, maybe on the high side of the racetrack. They got that cleaned up. Ben? I think that uh, Dale just said he goes back so far with Winger, the Winger had hair. I think that's what I just heard. <laughs> that's Dale exactly what it was. That is correct, yes. Ben. He did. <laughs> I may even have some photos to prove that if I dig back far. Oh, don't tease us. Don't <laughs> oh, that is, that is how, great. How about that great win at Batesville last year, the topless 100, Dale? Great job there, man. Big win for yep. us, uh, you know, to be able to to run with with all the Lucas Oil guys, you know, and be able to compete and run top threes, top fives, you know, it's it's a uh, very gratifying and very blessed. I feel blessed to be able to still compete there with them and and have and have fun, you know, and be competitive. We feel blessed to have you on up here for the heat races, my friend. Three laps in the books, five laps to go in Summit Racing Equipment Heat Number Two. Dennis Serb leads him back to the green. James, what a restart for Ashton Winger. Too bad you're not at Eldora and already in the show. He could do some scrambles with us. <laughs> Look at Winger. James Winger, Winger. Here goes Winger. He's working that outside. Oh, he's going to get down the main straightaway. Dennis Herb Jr. Uh, at the loop. 
Ben Swinger with the lead, Dustin Jarrett. What a move. Winger by a nose at the stripe or at the scoring loop as Dennis Serb Jr. going to try to battle back side by side down the back straightaway. East Bay Raceway Park at its finest. Winger lets it hang wide off corner number four. He stays out front. James three to go. Boom breaks into third spot again. The top three advance. The rest will have to come out the first B main. There's three B mains here tonight. Herb took a shot there on the bottom. Winger now down back low. The top three you pulled away. Oh, Ooh. man, slide down to four. Dennis Herb Jr. is going to go to the top. And Boom's catching both of them, James. Boom Briggs is reeling in that lead duo. Winger, well, actually, when he went down to the bottom of the racetrack, Dale, it looked like uh, maybe Winger's not quite as fast down there as he was up top. I think he got up there after that caution. Whoa. After that caution, I believe he yeah. got up there and the racetrack was clean, not as much crumbs. Got up there and went hard for a lap or so, and I think you'll see more of that the you know, throughout the night. Yeah, Barron's performance one lap to go, Dale. It's Winger, Herb, and Briggs. Winger's got to get off the four. Dennis Herb to the outside. Who's it going to be, Dale Mack? And DJ at the line. No, oh, it's tight. Oh, wow. man. Ashton Winger by six one hundredths of a second <laughs> over Dennis Herb Jr. Boom breaks right there as well. That's your top three in Summit Racing Equipment Heat Race. Number two, followed by Tony Jackson Jr. from ninth to fourth, Blair Nodorf, Kylan Garner, Brendan Smith, RJ Conley, Bob Gardner, and Larry Groove rounding out the top ten. So third goes to Boom Briggs. Second spot will go to Dennis Herb Jr. and the winner of Summit Racing Equipment Heat Race number two in the Jeff Matthews Motorsports, RBS Electric, Kaiser Manufacturing, Super K Express, Angry Elephant Tattoos and Piercing sponsored number 12. He was the winner of this event on this night one year ago. How about it for the driver out of Hampton, Georgia, Ashton Winger. Well, Ashton Winger already two great racing USA late model prelim wins here back last month and he holds on to win Summit Racing Equipment Heat Race number two over a hard charging Dennis Herb Jr. As Winger, your DJ said, the winner here a year ago tonight, trying to repeat history, and he pulls off the helmet. Ashton, you got the win, man, but I got to ask you, you got the lead on the top, you went back to the bottom, and Herb almost got you on the outside. What led to the decision to go back to the low groove? <laughs> Shit, every time I try to run the top here, I about uh, have to end up back in Shinston getting another car. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, my car didn't feel great there. My car was definitely better qualifying. I just didn't do a good job. Uh, I've done a lot of pissing away at good race cars there while we've been down here. So, you know, just uh, cars good. Thanks to Kaiser Manufacturing, Integra Shocks, everybody, my dad. Little Brian, DJ, uh, Andy Durham Race Engine run awesome. Uh, just got to be a little bit better. Hopefully we can uh, get it all sorted out here. want to say my, hey to my mama back home and Clint and everybody. I uh, Hopefully we can put on a good show for everybody, make everybody proud. Always got to thank Mama. He thanks Mama Winger. He wins Summit Racing Equipment Heat Race number two. And, yeah, uh -oh. you know, Ashton can be hard on race cars, guys. He's being honest yeah. right there as Heat 3 sits on the back straightaway. Well, Dustin, since the front row is from Georgia, who uh, else it, better I, than I, to do the front row? Are you ready, Dale Mack? Right there on there. I, I, what about those Georgia boys? Right, right? How about them, Jordan? How, I, give us the front row, Dale. Uh, Garrett Smith's on the pole, and Will Harrington sits outside him, so that'll be exciting. Where oh. is Hawkinsville, Georgia? Do you know where it is? <laughs> no, I just know it's in Georgia. <laughs> and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> in row number two out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, Garrett Alberson in the Ken and Beth Roberts Racing 58. And on his outside, a good qualifying effort, James, for Jaden Frame behind the wheel of one of the Riggs Raid up, Shepherd Riggs Racing entries here tonight. Row three, the showstopper Tim Dome, a winner here in 2007, and Brown. Brendan Shepard in the B5, Amanda Robinson, that's Ross's wife, in the number four, Dean Carpenter in the 51, Ryan Payne and Kenny Howe will roll off for row five, David McCoy and Sean Mattingly back in row six, Earnhardt Technologies, heat race number three, eight laps is the distance, top three transfer, it's an all Georgia front row, they're trying to go three for three in these, uh, try to go two for two in the last two heat <laughs> races, James, as we go green. The Dax Solution start zone. Garrett Smith, the 2022 Dirt Track World Champion, down the back straight away. Again, that very right icon on the outside of Will Harrington, and Harrington's going to throw it up there. Dale Mack coming out of turn four. Yeah, Harrington, I see Shepard up there, too. He's working that top side. Brandon Shepard on the high side. He did not get a good qualifying effort. Brandon Shepard trying to rally. He started back in the sixth position on the high side of the racetrack. He's worked his way up to fourth. In front of him, James Will Harrington trying to tiptoe around the top in the AC in the uh, 14X. Shepard, he's still going to be married to the top. Dale, is there still a shelf up there around the corners? Did you see that the other night in practice or not? Uh, they could. They had to run really hard. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you have to, the effort from the bottom to the middle groove and the driver's seat to the top groove, 
is way more effort. So Brandon's been using all of it. So Dale, uh, let, we're going to pull the curtain back for the folks back home a little bit as we watch this battle for second, third, and fourth. For, for the folks that maybe aren't familiar with it, when you say that the track just hasn't cleaned up enough for some of these guys to maybe make that top side work, what do you mean by that from a driver's standpoint? Well, as they're working that bottom, it'll throw a little bit of that mud and slime and grit up across there, uh, you know, the top groove. So once they get that cleaned up and blow off, Whoa. they can start working that top side in. Slider, they're three wide again, Dale and DJ. Oh, no. oh, what a race for second place. Garrett Smith out in front. That's awesome. Three to go. It's Harrington. Here comes Shepard. Brandon Shepard, then Shepard Riggs Racing B5. Halfway to Garrett Smith. But I tell you, Brandon Shepard has got the fastest car on the race track, track guys. Yes, crossover. He, crossover. Here. Yep. Yes, he does. Brandon Shepard trying to work his way to the second spot from sixth, and he does. Will Harrington slides up the track, and that allows Garrett Alberson to get a run, James. Coming around to the white flag, one to go. At the Barrett's performance, one lap to go. Garrett Smith battle for third, off at turn four. Will Harrington and Garrett Alberson. Now they go into turn two. Alberson and Shepard go side by side. But, DJ, it is all Garrett Smith, the lead wire to wire here in Earnhardt Technology Z3. The second Georgian to win a heat race tonight. It's going to be Garrett Smith getting the win in the 10 second. Goes to the B5 of Brandon Shepard. Third to the 58 of Garrett Alberson. Those three transfer into the show. Will Harrington fourth. Amanda Robinson fifth. Jayton Frame sixth. Tim Dome seventh. David McCoy, 8th, Dean Carpenter, ninth, and Sean Mattingly, 10th. So Garrett Alberson finishes third, Brandon Shepard, second. Your winner is going to grab a word with Ben Shelton out of Eaton, Georgia, in the Terminal Maintenance and Construction. Atlanta Heating, Cooling, world-famous Cadillac Ranch, sponsored number 10. The opening night winner at Scrubbin' Motor Speedway's winner frees it's Garrett Alberson, or Garrett Smith. <laughs> Yeah, Garrett. The Garrett part was right, DJ. As Garrett Smith picks up the win here in Earnhardt Technologies Group, heat number three. He'll start fifth in tonight's main event. Pulls off the helmet. And Garrett, man, last year you had a fast car here. You unload fast again. Starting fifth in this main event, what kind of adjustments are you going to make for this feature? Uh, we'll just look at the racetrack and see. Uh, I don't know. Our car's been really good lately. Uh, just... Won a few heat races. Uh, probably should have won both features last weekend at Screvin, but I just made a mistake. But uh, just showing these guys how, how fast this car is, and uh, hopefully we can get a win here at East Bay. All right, the winner of Earnhardt Technologies Group, heat race number three, Karen Smith in cart number 10. How about Amanda Robinson, Chad Ontario, up to fifth there at the finish, but that was a good race, Dale Mac. Three wide there a couple of times for second. Awesome, and I hate that for Will. When Brandon crossed up yeah. down there, Will got in dirty air and, and fell back and lost a transfer spot, it looks like, but uh, he'll be he'll be good come, come be, be main time. Simpson Race Products, heat number four is on the racetrack. This will determine who starts on the outside front row. Again, Hudson O'Neill got the victory fuel pole earlier. Here is you look at your lineup. The five-time East Bay winner going to start on the pole. This one is New Waverly, Texas's Turbo. Tyler Urban on his outside. You talked about him earlier, James, out of Jupiter, Florida. The six is Clay Harris. Jimmy Owens, he's won twice here at East Bay inside row two. And Chase Young hands on the outside of the 18 out of Manhattan, Kansas. Kyle Bronson is an East Bay winner out of Brandon, Florida. And the 40 being on his outside out of Traverse City, Michigan. And the Dave Bowen trucking number 69 is Brandon Thurlby. Todd Brennan, the 20 B's out of Zanesville, Ohio. And Ross Robinson, the seven, he hails out of Georgetown, Delaware. Lebanon, Missouri's Brennan Willard starts inside row five, and he'll be flanked by the veteran out of Wheelersburg, Ohio, in the 71R. That is Hot Rod Conley. Michael Lake out of Uniontown, PA, the 27. Jason Jack out of Tampa, and Brian Ledbetter. Uh, Dale McDowell, who's your pick in this one? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> it's going to be tough on that front row. Yes, Jimmy's sir. been running well, too, so, yes. you know, those, those guys are – are right there, but I did watch Tyler ever qualify. Pretty impressive. I don't think he ever lifted. He uh, he gets around this place really, really well, and he will lead the field along with Clay Harris into the Nutrient Ag Solution starting zone. Simpson Rakes Products Heat Fours underway, James. And the winner starts on the outside of the pro row alongside Hudson O'Neill, Urban to one. Young Hands. You know Bronson, once he gets up there, he's going to go try to go to the top shelf down the back straightaway side by side with Young Hands. Bronson and the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution is now we got a car up against the wall, and it's the Tampa, Florida driver, Jason Jack in 32. And yeah, Jason Jack will bring out the Dave Warren Power Sports Caution for the first time here in Simpson Race Products, heat number four. Dale, we talk all the time about, uh, and you even mentioned earlier, the technology of these race cars, the aero on these race cars is, is just uh, uh, obviously one of the biggest factors we have 
have right now. Again, pull the curtain back for the fans a little bit. On a track this size, how much aero, how much are you paying attention to aero when you're on the racetrack? A tremendous amount. Uh, you know, and this place is noted for to run sideways. Yeah. So, so when the cars are sideways, it just punches a bigger hole in the air. And when it does, you just, you really have to, you know, you really have to be aware of that when you're behind them in place. Try to get half half your nose left or half your nose right so you can get some air to make it. If somebody slides across you, there's nothing you can do. But that's what creates so much excitement. I mean, you know, when, when guys get moving around and they get in traffic, that's what creates just so much excitement is the air we're racing, it's angles, uh, you know, and, and so it just, it's some, it's busy in the seat way busier than it looks from up here <laughs> jason jack is okay in the 32 but it you told me once dale uh, it's been a few years back now in eldora that, that uh, racing has become such a game of angles uh, talk talk about that a little bit because it, i hear other drivers now talk about that as well but you were one of the first to tell me that racing has become a game of angles well our racing changed you know three or four or five years ago or whatever now so much speed with the cars and where technology has taken this thing all that all of it set up wise you know we're right Right fronts are down, the left fronts are up. You know the spoiler's high up in the air, and and so you now we enter with with track bar, panor bar angle, side bot for those people you know at home that don't understand. But you can enter and charge and be so much more aggressive on corner entrance now, and um, you know so when when you get out there and, and you're doing that and these guys are charging, it's it's become more uh, important on how you get across the center of the corner for your exit. You know so so that is just huge, and and like I said, these places that you run and really rotate the small tight corner places. Uh, that you really rotate the car, it just punches such a big hole in the air that you're going to see that tonight. Even when they get in traffic, you'll see that happen. That is, who would have thought that 10 to 15 years ago that, that, uh, that that's what we'd be doing now, right? It's, it's such a contrast of how things used to be in this sport. The product is awesome, though. It's, it's taken our sport... Um, you know, the places we used to go and, and the race promoters had to, the track prep guys really had to work hard, 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 you know, to make good events. And now, uh, I mean, you know, anytime you see these races, when they get, these cars get in traffic, you know, things start, they start dicing it up and, and uh, you know, it becomes a game of, of the least amount of mistakes when you're out right. there, you know. And, and uh, so it's, it's, it's technical, more technical now from the driver's seat than it's ever been, and, you know, in my opinion. But uh, makes it fun to watch. Let me ask you this: one thing to change. What about the nose pieces? Do you think there's something they could do about that to make the racing even better, Dale? I I don't know. It, it would have to be tested because okay. because right. you 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 disrupt the air, make the cars more equal, and it makes them tougher to pass. Okay. Here they go. All right, it's on the restart. No laps in the books. The neutral actually loses starts on Tyler, but Clay Harris will lead him into turn number one. Again, thanks to Dale McDowell, he'll be up here throughout the heat races. You sure you don't want to do any B-Mains? Oh, I don't care. I'm, I got <laughs> nothing to do, guys. I'm, I'm enjoying it. got nothing to do. All right, uh, they come out of turn four. Young hands to the top shelf, guys. Here he comes. Yeah, Chase Young hands trying to work around the outside of this racetrack. That's a battle for the final transfer spot. That's man the Manhattan, Kansas driver in the 18. Clay Harris, one of the names of Speed Week so far, in the six on the bottom. Kyle Bronson behind them in the 40B. Out front, though, still James. Two laps in the books. It's turbo ahead of Jimmy Owen. It's Dale, Jimmy. Jimmy is so showed a lot of speed early tonight, trying to make it consistent throughout the night. Down the back straight away, here comes Young Hands in on Owens. Tyler about in front. Would you say he was a throttle masher, Dale? Who, Jimmy? No, no, Tyler. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> yes, he is a throttle masher. Jimmy can be when needed, but he Jimmy's can be smooth, too. Right now, he's in third. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chase Young you, Hands looking good, James. Young Hands up to second in this one. You've never had a run in with Turbo, have you? Mm, maybe one time. Oh, maybe one time. I didn't time. have a run in with him. He had a run in to me. <laughs> <laughs> But we're good. We're all good. We're buddies. Chase Younghand started to close in there just a little bit on Tyler Earp. Seven-tenths of a second was the advantage at last time by not Dale. We've seen Younghand change his line. He's going to the bottom in one and two, and he's moved to the top in three and four. So much easier because he could gauge off of Jimmy. So when you're leading these things or where Jimmy was running a, a safe second, and actually, you know, Chase could get out there and see where he gained and where he lost. And uh, so it's just he found some speed out there. It's made one, it work. One of those deals that we hear you drivers talk about a lot where it's better to be in second maybe than it is being first. Definitely, definitely. It's hard to lead these things because you just don't – you can't feel the speed and you're trying to gauge, you know, with your depth perception off of where you go and where you gain. And the Barons' performance, one lap to go. It's Tyler Herb, Chase Young, Hans, Jimmy Owens, Bronson trying to get around Harris, Ross Robinson, final lap. And Tyler Herb outside of the front row right now, a pair of rockets. It'll be Hudson O'Neill and Tyler Herb 
pending the UN08 scales, Dustin. Yeah, one last Hail Mary by Chase Young. Hands won't be enough as Turbo washes up the racetrack. Checkered flags out. Tyler Erd going to get the win. Chase Young hands second. Jimmy Owens third. Those drivers transfer to the A main ahead of Clay Harris. Kyle Bronson, Ross Robinson, Brendan Willer, Brandon Thurlby, Todd Brennan, and Michael Lake will round out the top ten. So Owens is third, Young Hands is second, and your winner. He'll start in the outside front row of tonight's A Main in the best performance motorsports, bulkmateriallift.com. First class septic base racing fuels Anthony's Pizza sponsored number one. It's gonna be Turbo Tyler Herb, the Monday night winner at East Bay Raceway Park one year ago, is seeking his sixth career win here at the Clay by the Bay. He is gonna grab a word with our own Ben Shelton. Yeah, that win here last year on Monday night was his only Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win of the year. Ended up with three wins last year total. As the best performance motorsports, Rocket XR1, number one for Tyler Earp. Felt like he got let one get away from him on Ocala Speedway last Tuesday. This Tuesday, looking for a little redemption. Turbo, it's East Bay. You're doing East Bay things. What do you like out of the race cars, out of the race car and the racetrack that you see so far tonight? I mean, East Bay is the greatest racetrack in the world. I've said it forever, and uh, I'm just enjoying every single lap I get to make. I think I made the most practice laps. Uh, you know, Cody, Walter, Richard, they're working really, really hard. You know, we got DJ, Hoglet, um, just Brian, everybody at Kaiser Integra. You know, they're really in my corner trying to help us win. Got a shout out to all the Cody's at home watching. Cody Kill, my buddy Harry, RBC, my mom's here, Gabby's here. Um, it's just the greatest week of my life. A uh, big smile on his face. He'll start outside front row. He wins Simpson Race Products Heat 4. And I think a contender, guys, for a lot of the night so far is I didn't have a run in with him. I had a he ran or <laughs> run, he ran into me situation. Whatever it was, he said that was great by McDowell. We <laughs> enjoyed him up there for sure. Dale, have you ever had a hog? Have you ever had a hog on yeah, your crew? Yeah, I don't crew? know what the hell a hog is. Guys. No, I'm I was just thinking I'm going to have to get creative with our crew guy's name. <laughs> uh, I don't Luke, know if Shane, I don't know if Shane's going to allow you to call him a hog. I don't think that's a thing, Dale. <laughs> Lucas Probably Oil, not, man. Lucas Oil Heat Products. Number five is on the racetrack. Going to be Jonathan Davenport and Matt Cosner, James, in row number one. Logan Zarin out of Hookstown, Pennsylvania, the 1Z, and Jason Riggs. He's out of College Grove, Tennessee in 81. The Bruce Kane Racing 15K. Jensen Ford starts inside row three. He'll be flanked by the weight North Carolina driver of Daniel Adam. Brandon Waggle, first time in Middleburn, West, Middleburn, West Virginia, the 47, and Tim Lance out of Broomfield, Illinois in 48. Urbana, Missouri's Dylan McCowan is in the eight alongside him out of Jackson, Ohio. Seth Daniels in the S21, and your final two starters will be Jeff Matthews in the 33. He is unable to answer the call. Chris Hawkins out of Neosho, Missouri, Missouri will round out the field. James, 11 cars running eight laps. Top three transfer. This is Lucas Oil Heat Race number five, and it goes green in the Nutrient Act Solution starting zone. Down the main straightaway, Jonathan Davenport. He has eight career wins here at East Bay. To the top, Matt Cosner down the back straightaway in the 66 seed. They're trying to go three wide there in the back. Daniel Adam couldn't make it through. Out of turn four. Is that Brandon Thurlby? No. No. It is it's not. not. It's the Bruce Kane. It's Jensen Ford. You know him, Dale Matt. <laughs> I do know Jensen, him. yes. Ten Hello. Good Tennessee racer. Who had the better mullet back in the day, Eckert or Davey Johnson? <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Man, I don't know. Rick had a pretty good one. You, I've seen some pictures of you, my friend. My hair was just a different color, James. It's a different color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jonathan Davenport out. I'm going to try to wrangle this back in here, you guys. Dale, uh, Jonathan Davenport. I see, I about said Dale McDowell was out front of that heat race. He's not. He's up here with us. Jonathan Davenport is leading. Matt Costner turning in a good performance in second. And, James, how about the second-generation driver, Logan Zarin, right now, running in third and closing in on, da on uh, the Yeah, Matt he's going to go right by him. Good move, Logan Zarin, the first qualifier in Group B. Now they go side-by-side -side with Costner. Off a of turn four. At the loop, it's still Costner has it. Aaron Ford and Daniel Adam. But it is all Jonathan Davenport down the back straightaway. The Nutrient Act Solutions ASC Warranty 49. Now they go to that top shelf in three and four, guys. Coming out of turn four, three to go. Three laps remaining in this one this time. By is a good battle there for the second spot. Happens 2.7 seconds behind your race leader, Jonathan Davenport, Matt Cosner. There was an example there. We see this sometimes. Cosner forced up the racetrack there a little bit, but that high side, he was a little better when he got forced up the track down in one and two. He is. It's just you use so much tire up, up there. You get your tires a little hot, a little mad. Make your tires a little mad up there. 
and uh, so you'll lose a little bit of grip. But he's 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 moved on up against it and carrying some speed. He is indeed carrying speed. As the last time by, he was six tenths faster than your race leader Jonathan Davenport. That's the good news for Matt Costner. The bad news is the Sands have run out of the hourglass. Uh, Davenport just got the Barrons one to go. James, he heads into three and four for the final time. Three-time Lucas Oil champion. A winner here eight times at the clay by the bay. He will start outside row number two. Costner second. Third is going to be Zarin. Uh -oh. That the line is going to be Adam and then Riggs. And it's spinning out is the 15 car. Man, Jensen Ford had a good run going. His first ride for Bruce Kane Racing. And he looped it coming out of turn four. So the top three will go to the UN08 scales to make it official. It's the 1Z out of Hookstown P8 third. Logan Zarin second. Matt Costner. And your winner, 72 times the winner in the Lucas Oil Late Modern Dirt Series. That is third all-time out of Blairsville, Georgia. How about it for Jonathan Davenport? Jonathan Davenport, seven-time winner here at East Bay. Well, J.D., you made the comment to Rigsby last week that you don't know that you've ever really raced Monday or Tuesday here. Here you are on a Tuesday night. You got a really good race car. I think you tried every groove out there. Where was this car the best? Uh, you really don't feel anywhere good here at East Bay. It's just... Uh, it's slimy and then it's really slick. Uh, so uh, you just kind of move around and just try to hold everybody back. But uh, we uh, we tested last night or Sunday night, which you normally don't do that either. And actually found some things was pretty good. So we'll see how it goes here. All right, well, they did some testing. They're doing some things they don't normally do. And JD's gonna try to get his eighth East Bay win, sixth and final Lucas Oil Heat race rolling to the speedway. Makes its way to the back straight away and they're gonna be Starting on the pole, this one will be Big Perm at Dalton Wilson out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. On his outside, seeking his first East Bay win. It'll be Squirrel Brian Shirley. Anybody ever say you had a Big Perm day, Mac? <laughs> no, I hadn't, hadn't had a perm. <laughs> Thankfully. <What? laughs> Tanner English, he said the 96 out of Bend, Kentucky. And Tim McCready. We've seen him with frosted tips, haven't we? Well, I, sh I have. I have, certainly, yeah. We all have. And you've never had frosted tips, though, right? No, I've got them now, though. You've got <laughs> <laughs> Out of Watertown, New York, uh, outside of road. <laughs> Ethan Dodson on the inside of road three, originally from Bakersfield, California, and on his outside. Out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the 93, it'll be Corey Lawler. Tyler Millwood, the 31. He was the Todd Steel Bunnings hard charger on a Monday night a year ago, and an Earl Pearson Jr. in the Jason Round. 46 out of Jacksonville, Florida. Rally time for Devin Moran as he's got to come from the night starting spot in the Double Down Motorsports 99. And on his outside, the former Stars Rookie of the Year, the guy that uh, Dale McDowell's lending a hand to this week. It's Mike Bennett out of Salem, West Virginia. Blake McClain, he's out of Coldwater, Mississippi, and 15, and Danny Snyder, the 4S. So, Dale, I wanna, I'm going to ask, how'd you get hooked up with uh, with Mike Bennett and team? He's in uh, Sweet Bloomquist Cars, and, and so uh, he's, he sponsors us a little bit, helped us out tremendously, he and Brett. Uh, they get a BSI well service, and he has got several companies up there. So he's helped us out, and, and uh, so it's, he wants to come down here and race, have fun, you know, see how he can do. So hopefully we can get him better throughout the week. I think I – was Zero down there taking pictures? Did I see Scott taking I, pictures? I saw him here. Okay. I saw him. He said so. All right. The Nutrient Action <laughs> Hack Solutions start zone. It's Lucas Oil Heat 6. Final heat of the night here in East Bay. Boy, Tim McCready swung way wide there. Coming off corner number four, the most recent winner with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Saturday night at Alltech Raceway, but out front in this one, Dalton Wilson leads the field. Remember, he was a runner up at East Bay in 2023, looking for his first Lucas Oil win. James, he's the leader at the end of lap one. Eight times he's finished second his career in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Good battle down the back straight when McCready so dominant on Saturday night at All Tech. He and Dalton Wilson, they absolutely have the two best cars there. A good one here. This track is coming into it. Down the main straightaway, it's Ethan Dotson. And Dale McDowell, these heat races have been pretty sporty, my friend. They are really sporty. The groove's widening out off two and letting them carry some speed. So uh, if you get hung in the middle, Timmy got hung in the middle there. And uh, so he, he moved back up top shelf now. All right, as we look back on this battle for the final transfer spot, Dale puts you on the spot again. As, look at this, a four-car battle now for second, and this happens uh, over a second behind your race leader. Dale, what's the biggest difference in being out there on the racetrack versus watching up here like this? Oh, man, just searching. Those guys are searching for, you know, the best line where they can make the most ground. It's way easier here. You guys, I mean, it's <laughs> way easier up here. Oh, man. 
is uh, Dalton Wood. Brian Shirley just grabbed a handful of the uh, Tampa concrete uh, that last time by Dalton Wilson stretching out his advantage. Dotson. And Shirley, yeah, Shirley trying to separate himself, James, but here comes Ethan Dotson. Ethan Dotson, McCready just slide up as they ram. No! And Dotson up against the wall, and the Dave Warren Power Sports caution will be displayed. Well, Dotson trying to fit that car in there, and Dale Mack, you know, with these uh, self-containment seats, you, you can't you can't really see on the right side, and I don't know if Timmy even saw him out there. He didn't. Timmy didn't know he was there, but it was uh, in, in that situation, you just, uh, if you lift, you lose spots, and so you just hope to get through that, yeah. tense up, and but he just uh, run out of real estate. I tell you what, another one of those up-and-coming drivers, Ethan Dotson out of the IMCA ranks. Uh, Dale, I want to ask you a question. A lot of racers tell me it's hard to go to the racetrack as a spectator. As you're sitting up there, and I'm going to make James and DJ keep you honest. You're getting a little itchy up there. Is, is it hard to sit there and watch, or are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. I, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough. This place is demanding. Um, it had never been really me growing up in Tennessee. I drive straight everywhere I go. So when I come down here, I mean, I've won some races down here, and it, it's kind of surprised me when I did tell you the truth. But but uh, it is technical. I mean, you know, the, the cars drive so much different now. I would kind of like to make some laps, but oh, there it is. There it is. October. <laughs> October. Well, October. I'm gonna, October. I'm yeah. going to tell you what, McDowell, you are a natural. I think any of the three of us are out of a job after tonight. Uh, I, I think you're in. That. I think we're out. But Shane's going to let whoever gets fired drive the car. So just understand that. Okay. I, I'll hold you to that, man, when I'm when I'm looking for something to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing great, man. This is uh, We really appreciate you taking time to join us tonight. This uh, is fun. It's, it's an honor for me. I mean, you guys do such an awesome job and make it so much fun at home to watch these events and, and watch these races, so uh, I'm honored. Well, they're going to put wow, the caution lights you. back out uh, one more time. Did have a question from a couple folks back home, Dale. Uh, and, again, don't want to put you on the spot. Health-wise, though, think things going well, et cetera, et cetera, for you? Health-wise, everything's good. Good. Uh, you know, I go do my go do my blood work, you know, and, and make sure everything stays clean. But, uh, you know, if I can pass that along to anybody out there, just – you know, I caught mine early, and I was very blessed to, you know, to, to be able to, to overcome it and, and get healthy, and so everything's great. Ah, that's great news, man. That is outstanding news. Well, we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing here past halfway single file restart. Five laps down, three laps to go. Dalton Wilson, Brian Shirley, Ethan Dotson lead them to the Nutrient X Solution starting zone, James. Now Ethan Dotson out of the race. So McCready will go to third as they come out of turn two. Here comes English on the bottom. Down the back straightaway, Devin Moran on the move in 99. From ninth. He started inside row number five. You're right, and Moran's got to run here. He comes out of turn four. Moran on the outside of McCready. <laughs> Dale McDowell, they are running everywhere here at East Bay all over the place. Oh, my gosh. I just tensed up for Timmy there. <laughs> Timmy's in the slide to the high side. Devin Moran from ninth up to third, and I think the entire Buckeye State is in the crowd cheering him on. James is the Barrett's one to go. So it's Wilson, Shirley, and Moran. Now Brian Shirley on tiptoe to the top, down the back straightaway. Wilson trying to lead it all the way. Here comes Shirley. Great battle for third between English and Pearson and Tim McCready as they come out and turn four. Moran on the bottom. It's going to be big firm. Dalton Wilson with the win, DJ. Second spot's going to go to Brian Shirley. And from ninth to the third and final transfer spot, it's Devin Moran ahead of Tim McCready, Tanner English, Tyler Millwood, Earl Pearson Jr., Corey Lawler, Danny Snyder, and Mike Benedum. So Devin Moran from ninth to third, Brian Shirley second, and your winner's going to start sixth in tonight's eight main of the James Ratliff race and Grant Lee Farms MGL on the sales counter contract. 18D, big perm, Dalton Wilson. And Dalton Wilson will start six. Yet another heat race win. Second back on Saturday night at All Tech Raceway here in the Ratliff Racing number 18D. And he pulls off the helmet. Dalton, you got the win, man, but you tried a lot of different grooves there. Seems like the racetrack is going through a transformation. What did you notice out there? Yeah, you know, it's actually uh, cleaning up and it feels pretty good moving all around it. So uh, I think it might race pretty good. Uh, just like I can't thank all my sponsors, uh, my corners are here tonight. Uh, shout out to Justin and James, Jennifer, uh, Nicole. Just everybody that's here, uh, thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, Grant Lee's in the house tonight, so uh, thanks to him. Uh, Gullet, just everybody back home, um, maybe we can get it done tonight. All right, he hopes that tonight is the night that he gets the win. Dalton Wilson wins. Lucas Oil, Heat 6. And just like that, uh, heat races are in the books. And it's going to be a quick turnaround, James. We see teams rolling across the racetrack, making their way to the Heartbeat Hot 